Hey everybody, it's Tony Robbins with my buddy Dean. How are you today? What's up? I want to start by asking a simple question. I'm going to go first for a little bit, then the deal yeah. go. And that is, you know, if you were coming to the end of your life and it was a life well lived, a life you were really proud of, a life that felt magnificent, what would matter to you more? Making a massive amount of money or having a massive impact on the quality of people's lives all around you in your life? And when I ask that question, I gotta tell you, my answer is why pick between the two? <laughs> the two of us have had this privilege of being in this knowledge business as it grew from its infancy to now where it's really literally exploding. And we've had the opportunity to do something that we both enjoy because it's meaningful. I mean, you could sell widgets all day long, but when you can help somebody change the quality of their life because you busted your tail and you got some insights in how you run a business or how you write software or how you cut hair, how you do anything, any kind of specialized knowledge that you can share with people that can make the quality of their life or their business better is pretty damn exciting. Let me, uh, let me just say that there, what, what excites me about this and the reason we put this project together is there is a power that changes people's lives that most people just aren't unaware of, the majority of the population. I always say that our lives are changed by invisible forces, and it sounds kind of corny, but if you think about it, the things that shape you the most are things like radiation, too little you're dead, too much you're dead, gravity, human emotion, love and hate probably shape you more than anything else, and they're invisible forces. Electricity, right, that's why we're able to have this conversation with you. But I believe one of the most powerful invisible forces, one of the most powerful forces on earth that's changed our lives and the purpose of this conversation is understanding the power of self-education. See, I was a, a kid in a really rough environment. I had four different fathers. We were poor as can be. We had no food. You know, some of you know I feed 100 million meals a year for the last five years. I'm gonna feed a billion people over the next five uh, through Feeding America. And it's not because I'm such a good person. It's because I suffered so much and I didn't want other people to suffer. And so, you know, as I looked at my life way back then, I didn't have the tool to say, here's the pathway to go. There was no one to educate me. There were no mentors. There were no coaches in those days. There was only therapists. And so, I looked around and I started reading and I, I absorbed books. That was my way to get out of that environment. And I was able to get this specialized knowledge there. But what really shifted me completely was when I really started to go to seminars and I started listening to audio programs. And in those days, you know, six cassettes cost $300 with six little workbooks, you know? And I would save up my money as a janitor to try to figure out how I could go get this knowledge because I wanted to change my life and I was so driven to want to change other people's lives. But that basic fundamental skill that we're going to show you how to expand and turn into a business based on our, you know, I've done for 42 years, he's done it for 20, so 60 plus years of experience, is we want to show you the shortcuts that if you don't even have a clue what knowledge you might have that can make a difference, show you how you can extract that. Uh, if you are a person that feels I don't have that skill, there's somebody else out there that I really love, I want more people to know about him, like I did with my original teacher, Jim Rohn. You could become a knowledge broker, or you could become somebody that really just wants to understand what makes people the best at something, go interview all the best people and become a reporter of it, which will start to make you an expert. We wanna show you the pathway that can happen, because for me and for Dean, it changed our lives in ways you couldn't imagine. We went from kids struggling who, you know, I was supposed to be a truck driver. My mom kept having me watch these commercials, Truck Master, some, some of you old enough may remember that. Remember it. Truck Master School, $29.95. <laughs> you can learn to make $24,000 a year driving a truck. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with driving a truck if that's what you love, but I didn't want to sit. I was not, I'm a go make things happen person. I didn't want that stuff. Fortunately, there was a pathway out. And it, today it's so much easier, but there wasn't, I wasn't aware of it, it was self-education. That took me from this kid who was desperate to figure out how to be able to have enough money to help feed his family and be part of that process to now traveling the world where I've had the chance to coach five U.S. presidents. I've worked with four royal families, you know, some of the greatest athletes in the world, the greatest billionaire business people. I get to work with them. I get to talk to groups of 10 to 15,000 people. This year, I've got three 50,000 person events to give you an idea, football stadiums. So I'm not saying at the end of this hour, you're gonna be doing that. But I wanna show you how we, I started with literally nothing and how Dean started with nothing and how we entered a business that was really raw and hard in those days. It wasn't cool at all. Not, <laughs> cool, not cool and very hard to do and very expensive to how to do this. I mean, I, I can remember my first seminar, I put all my money, time and energy and I was giving it away. I rented the LA Hilton Hotel downtown, it cost me a fortune, I ran all these ads, not like today where you go to Facebook and find who you want, <laughs> it was these wide ads hoping somebody would see it. 
And I thought, no less than 500 people are gonna show up. And seven lonely souls showed up. And they were all late. And I was like, and they're spread around the room. And I pull them in the front row and just give it all to them. But we're gonna show you how we went from that to now where I have 54 companies. We're doing over $6 billion in combined sales in all these industries. And where my core business of changing lives is still the most meaningful thing in my life and the most fulfilling. So I wanna give you the insights of 40 years of experience and see if in this little 90 minute period, we can really stimulate you to see what's possible so that you could do something on the side that just provides a nice income for you that you love, or you could build it into something over time that's extraordinary. So thanks for joining us. And my only request is turn off your phones, turn off all the beeping from social media and so forth. Stay with us for this 90 minutes and let's really go deep and figure out what we can do to take the next level. Here's my buddy, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> Good to have you here. Um, so here's the thing, what Tony's saying really summarize, summarized is the knowledge industry, the self-education industry, was something some people dabbled in when Tony started 42 years ago, when I started 20 plus years ago. But the world has shifted and people are realizing that they would rather learn yes. from a non-professional doer than a professional teacher. And I don't mean any disrespect to a teacher, but people are voting with their money, not just by what, to, what their time. Tony and I are saying, with their money. Because right now, the knowledge industry is a $355 million a day industry, an industry that Tony helped originate. And I want to tell that story in a second here. But I want you to think what Forbes just said is that this industry by 2025 will be a billion dollars a day. This is the launching pad. This is the time to get in. And what we're going to show you today is how would you like to get paid for a skill, a hobby, a passion, an expertise you have, even if you don't think you have one. Wouldn't that be amazing to help somebody impact their lives and get paid? But I know this sounds crazy, but before we're done today, you're going to realize if you don't have a skill, you just got out of college, you feel like you didn't do anything that would be impactful, all of that's going to change when you learn how Tony started and how I started and the path we created to be the reporter or the broker, which really means if you're watching right now and you're someone that wants overnight success, want to get rich in two minutes, you want a business <laughs> in a box, that you don't want to do the work, you feel like you can get wealthy without doing much, this isn't for you. This is, if you want to, if you want to stay for entertainment, that's great. But that's, if you know anything about Tony and I. I don't know for that entertaining. Yeah, yeah, I don't know for that entertaining. Uh, that's, that's a really good one. But um, if that's what you're thinking, this isn't the spot. But if you're watching right now and you crave another level, if you are dying to start your own thing, your own business, your own company, you're gonna to wanna to watch. We have 60 plus years. This is such an amazing industry. Impact and profits. If you have your own business and you're in the middle someplace, decent profits, a lot of stress, this is perfect for you. And if you're crushing it and you're on a whole nother level and you're ready to go to the next, this is where you can make significance, impact, and help other people grow while you get paid for your knowledge. I want you to stay with us all the way to the end because we're gonna paint the picture of something you probably never heard of. And here's the best part. Where is the biggest opportunity in anything in life? When was it like the, the Netflix compared to Blockbuster, the Uber compared to Taxi, uh, the internet compared to snail mail and, and not being connected? The biggest opportunity is when there's a big problem, a big massive problem that needs to be solved. Yeah. And that problem is being solved through self-education. The, the, the education right now, traditional education is broken. We'll talk more about that later. You have the opportunity to fix that with our guidance. Together we can help impact the world while simultaneously you tap into a new revenue stream as it's taken off. And, and I just wanna say one thing, Tony, talking about your story, and I don't wanna go too much in my story. I wanna get right to this so you understand here tonight. We've, we know you're taking time to be with us right now all over the world. Some of you in the middle of the night, I saw they're setting your alarms yes, to be with us, so thank you. But I wanna tell you what got me in this industry before it was cool is because I watched a late night infomercial of Tony Robbins <laughs> 20 something, 25 years ago, and I gave a credit card, even though my friends, my father told me I was nuts. He told me, get a refund right now, get a refund. <laughs> Literally, I got information because and that information changed my life. He didn't send me a, a car. He didn't say, like, I paid hundreds of dollars. I got these CDs. I obsessed. You said if you're obsessive, you'll listen to them in a weekend. I have four days. I digested all of them within 10 days. I listened oh to them God. twice. And I fund, my life fundamentally shifted. Two years later, I filmed my own infomercial. 
because I saw the impact it had on me. I wanted to teach other people. That was 22 years ago. I've been on TV pretty much nonstop since then and touched the lives of millions of people around the world. I've done over a billion dollars with my brand educating people. Yes, I've done real estate. Yes, I've done 13 different companies. But the one that lights me up, the one that's truthfully generated me more revenue than anything else, was being in the knowledge business. But we started when it was hard. The world has changed. Instead of social media using you, tonight when you're done, you're like, holy crap, I can use social media to impact lives, get paid, and be a part of this evolution. Yeah, you, you look at the industry right now, you know, Airbnb is another example, because yeah. co-founder is one of my dear friends. And you know, these guys started the same thing. They started not being able to pay their bills. And so they got these little blow up mats and said, let's, let's rent our room for some people here. <laughs> and to see that grow in nine years, I mean, Hilton Hotels is an example. It's been around 99 years and their valuation is 20 billion. It's pretty amazing. And you look at my buddy at Airbnb and <laughs> Joe Gebbia, his little company has been around nine years and it's worth $32 billion. It's amazing. I mean, it's, it, that's the world that we're in. So let me give you a two second background so you get a sense how I got in this. Cause sometimes you see, oh, we're doing billions and oh, that's way beyond me. And it, and it is beyond you where you are right now, if, unless you're already you know, got momentum and you're going. But I want to let you know that this all started with me really shifting my beliefs. Cause I want you to know, we can show you all the tools to make happen, but lots of people know what to do, but they don't do what they know. And so part of what we do in our course and what we do in our experience here is we really make sure that we get your head straight. So I want to start by asking a question because, you know, well, let me tell you how I got the business first and then the question yeah. will answer for you. I, I, I'm working as a janitor. I'm in high school. I'm working my tail off. I'm in a tough environment. I'm trying to help my family put food on the table while I'm still going to high school. And one weekend I get an opportunity to go work with this man who my father at the dinner table said, oh, he was such a jerk. He was such a failure. He was such a loser. Now he's so successful. And I, it hooked my ear and he was buying and selling homes and real estate. This is in the late 1970s in Orange County, California. And I heard all this and he said, he needs somebody to help do moving. And I thought, I'll work to move, but I really want to know what made this man successful. Because even then I was hungry to know what the difference was in people. I didn't want to just generalize and say somebody else was lucky. And so I worked my tail off all weekend long and lifting all this heavy stuff. And at the end he goes to pay me and says, what a great hard worker. I says, well, here, give me some advice. My father said you used to be such a jerk and now you're so successful. You used to be such a loser. Only kids can say this stuff, right? It's a true story. And he looked at me and said, your dad said that? He goes, well, I kind of was a little bit of a loser. And I said, well, what changed you? And he said, I went to a seminar. I didn't know if there was a knowledge business. I didn't know what a seminar was. I said, well, what's a seminar? He said, well, it's where a man takes 25, 30 years of his life and he sorts through all the best that he's learned and he teaches you in three or four hours and saves you decades in, you know, in a day. And I was like, wow. I said, I, I, think I'd, I think I'd like to go to this. Could, could I get in? Could you get me in? He goes, yeah. I said, well, will you? And he said, no. And I said, well, why not? He goes, because you won't value it if you don't pay for it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll value it. He goes, no, no, no. <laughs> I said, how much is it? He says, $35. I'm making $40 a week as a janitor at the time going to high school. I said, that's a week's pay. He said, well, then learn on your own. Take 20 years, 30 years, and hopefully you'll figure it out and skip the three hours and a week's worth of pay. So to me, it was like the biggest decision in the world to spend a week's worth of pay to go to this little three-hour seminar and hear this man speak. But he answered a question for me that night that was critical. See, I grew up so poor financially. And, you know, after father, after father, and I, I, I had more pain about the loss of the fathers than I did the lack of food, quite frankly. And I was like, I guess when you don't have money, people leave. That was in my head. I was like, I'm going to do well someday. I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to learn. And then I go to Jim Rohn's seminar. And the question I always had is, why is it that my fathers all worked hard and we have no money for food? And, and then Jim Rohn answered the question. He asked the question in the seminar that shifted my belief. He said, is it possible to me? And I'm asking you this question right now. Is it possible to make twice as much money in the same amount of time? What's your answer? If somebody said, is it possible to make 10 times as much money in the same amount of time as you work right now, is that possible? And you know, the answer is simple. Answer is, of course, but I mean, really think about it. What is your belief, not beyond the verbal that you just tell people, but what's inside? And he said, what if, is it possible to make 100 times, 1,000 times more possible? And the audience was more attentive as the numbers got larger. And he said, the answer is yes, and people are doing it every day. But you have to understand what the secret is. You have to become more valuable in the marketplace. And I thought this was interesting because I'm a big believer we're all equal. We're equal as souls, but we're not equal in the marketplace. And what makes you unequal is your ability to develop specialized knowledge that you can help somebody with to improve their business, their life, their ability to cut hair, their ability to be a CPA, their ability to do anything, deal with a problem in their life. That's where the power is. So like, he said it this way. 
he said, you get paid for added value. If you work at McDonald's, and back then it was $3 an hour, I think now it's $9 an hour, you get $9 an hour, it's $18,000 a year, you can't survive on that, and it sounds so unfair, and then you see a hedge fund guy like David Tepper make $4 billion in a year, you go, this is totally unfair. But if you really think about it, it's about added value. If you work at McDonald's and you're a cashier, you can learn those skills in an hour. And pretty soon you're gonna be replaced by an algorithm, unfortunately, or a robot. If you go to Amazon now, they have these new stores. I'm sure you've seen, you walk in, there's no cashier, you walk out. Everything is just tracked based on your codes. And so we're living in a world where if that's what you do, you're gonna suffer. Like we have all these people talking about socialism right now. There's socialism because they're not capitalists. They own an iPhone, but they don't own Apple. They don't, have, they don't understand how to add value. And then you look at a guy like David Tepper, who's a hedge fund guy, made four billion in a year. You go, that's so unjust, but he made a 42% return for all his clients. So if you're trying to save for your retirement or trying to take care of your kids or for college, and you're getting at that same year he did that, and if you put your money in a savings account, you got less than one third of 1%. If you got 1%, it takes 72 years to double your money. With David Tepper, it's two and a half years. So is he worth it? The answer is yes. So the secret is become obsessed. To, what Jim Rohn used to say to me is work harder on yourself than you do on your job. Develop skills and abilities that make you valuable in the marketplace. Do more for others than anybody else is doing. And it doesn't matter how little skill you have, it'll grow and your gifts will make room for you and you'll get you want to go. So I hear this brilliant idea and I think I'm going to go do this. And so I start reading. I read 700 books. I took a speed reading class. I was going to read a book a day. I didn't do that. But 700 books over several years. And then I wanted to do a seminar and I wanted to help people. I didn't know a knowledge business. I know I just wanted to help. So I go rent this hotel, like I said, and seven people show up and it's not looking too terribly good, right? It's like not looking good at all. But what gradually happened is I learned skills. Now in those days, it cost a fortune to design a brochure, print it out, mail it through the snail mail, it took forever. Today it's free. Social media, the elements that you can do, there's zero limit to what you can build towards. So I, what I wanna say to you is, we're gonna show you the system step-by-step step on how to either find the knowledge you have and then create it, design it, put it into a course. Here's the ways to market it. Here's the best language you can use. You can change one headline and literally change the return on your investment on a Facebook ad by a thousand percent. And we've been doing this for 60 years. So we can show you the pathway to power and show you how to compress those decades into days. But what I really want you to get more than anything else is, this is an opportunity. You can get into business that is an aging industry and you can be the best and you're gonna go down. When you're in an industry that's growing, a rising tide lifts all boats. All we wanna show you is what can really happen. So what's the problem? What are we getting to here? The problem is traditional education is really not delivering anymore. Number one, it costs a fortune. We have $1.5 trillion of debt that kids have today. Um, you might be one of them going, I have all these debts, how am I ever gonna get over it? And that debt has not provided them the job they really wanted because I know you yeah. saw the statistics, 23% of the people actually work in the area that they learned in school. 72% don't. And of that group, remember what yeah, the number was? So, yeah, 27%, I think it's 27% actually get a job related to their degree. That's right. And on 52% of them hate the job they're in. Which means 73% are not using anything they went in college where they spent 50 or $100,000 a year. Don't get me wrong, college could be beautiful. Relationships, insights, contacts but it's out of control. And what's happening, as you said, is you've got a professional teacher who's teaching you things that often completely out of date, certainly in business often yeah. completely out of date. It's not relevant versus specialized knowledge you can act on immediately. So we wanna help build a community of people, kind of like a TED, but where you can take anything you know and bring it to the marketplace. And again, we got the pathway to do this process, but we gotta get past this system right now. Because right now, what these universities are, there's 100 universities with a billion dollars or more set, set aside. You know, uh, Harvard the other day raised 9.7 billion and they have 22,000 classmates. I mean, they're really hedge funds with universities, they're educations with hedge funds attached. And we're paying for all that, most of us. We're guaranteeing that whether they produce results or not. So our goal is to shift that yeah. and say, let's show you the way to become whatever little specialized knowledge you have someone else has, how to bring it to the marketplace and let us show you the shortcuts so you don't have to go through all the things we went through that are so painful and show you how to do it really inexpensively and really quickly, provide income and provide meaning for your life. There you go. <laughs> I, uh, so that is the problem, right? The, the real estate, that's, I mean, the, the, the 
education so the, the traditional educational model is broken. I, I had a good friend, Richard Rossi. He's in the education space for it, runs a $100 million a year company. And he said to me something last week. He said, if you took somebody from 1920 and you brought them into today and you just handed them your phone, they'd go, oh my God, my uh, Google and I can answer any question yeah. and navigation and pictures and video and audio and music. Oh my God, they see planes flying over. And you did all these things. And then if you brought them into a classroom and you let them sit for a day, at the end of the day, they'd go, Wow, the blackboards are white now. Yeah, that's about the only change in traditional Nothing's education. changed. General knowledge, Jeannie Romney, the CEO of IBM, just addressed her whole company, which when I was a kid as a blue collar, working in construction, working on cars, IBM was across the river. That was like, that was my dream. If I was smart enough, I could work for IBM. Yeah. That's what, and she's, the, I think that's the epitome of white collar. At least that's what I grew up in. And she addresses everybody and says, forget blue collar, forget white collar. Today's world, we want to hire specialized, which is she was calling new collar people with specialized or knowledge. No collar. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't have to work. Yeah, collar. exactly, because they're immediately hireable. She yes. said, if you can get them, they probably already have their own company. So what the world is realized? So the problem: traditional education isn't working. I think we proved that. So what's the solution? The solution is you. That right now, you watching, you could tap into a, if you have the process, we'll talk more about it later, Tony and I have created the process to extract the capability, your superpower, and then extract, and then find the exact person that wants it. We'll go deeper on that in a minute, but the answer is you, because you can either be the person providing knowledge, if you're, listen, and people think I don't have 10 years in, but let's just say you are a hairstylist, and you, well, I look at my fiance, she's top hairstylist in Arizona. She's incredible. She, she makes 10 times more than the average person, right? If you look at something like that, if you're a hairstylist and you got five years in, six years in, there are thousands of hairstylists starting every day at step one. They could either spend five years figuring out what you've learned or what anybody's learned, be it fly fishing, be it how to eat better, how to work out, how to do anything you do. Um, you could... You could start out on your own, or you could share, extract your knowledge and share, and people are paying for it in the tune of $355 million a day. And she's a perfect example, because when we first talked with her, remember? Yeah. You, you were so involved, and I wanted to meet her. I couldn't wait to meet her. And she said, he's making a quarter million dollars cutting hair. The average person makes forty to $60,000. And we both said, you got to get that knowledge out of oh, her exactly. head. And what she's working on now. And so now we have this, we have dozens of people, we'll give you examples, that were doing yeah, some photography. Say, but, yeah, I was going to say Michael. Michael Rosbush, a great example. So Michael, an accountant for over 25 years. Yeah. Great guy. He's probably watching tonight. Awesome dude. Now, I don't know his whole story, but he started as an accountant, then he formed a company. But he also, but I want to make a point, he didn't think he was the kind of person to get up and give seminars or be able to oh, create none of that. You know, A lot of people say, you know, an accountant is somebody that has less personality than an economist, and that's kind of scary, right? <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, exactly. But he had that mindset, and he didn't think anybody was going to listen to him. Yeah, exactly. And, and something didn't go well with his partnerships, which happened in life. So now all of a sudden, no more business. Later on in life, and he's like, I want to impact. I want to help young accountants go quicker, but accountants wouldn't pay me. And he had to get over that mindset. His number one fear, he said, is who's going to pay me $15,000 as an accountant who barely make that to be in my group, my training group. But he was wrong. He's going to do 300, he did 300,000 last year in sales on his way. He said projected next year a million a year. And what is he doing? He's simply taking his 20 something years experience as an accountant and he's serving these young people who are going into a field. They're going to make those mistakes if he doesn't help them. They're going to miss the opportunities if he doesn't give them. And all of a sudden now he's in the knowledge but business also, as also, an accountant. But also there's a different fulfillment when you're able to help somebody else to grow themselves and grow their business as well. And so now this makes him more money than he does as an accountant. I mean, this is an opportunity for you to, again, either find that little skill inside you. There was, there was a couple here that, that they went through a really tough time trying to have a baby. Endometriosis for, for a woman is really a tough situation. And they said, we want to help other people. We'd like to get paid for it too, but who's going to listen to us? We're not medical doctors. Yeah. And their business is growing geometrically because they've been through it. They know what the problems are. They know how to navigate through the doctors and they show people what to do. And they have a mastermind that changes that. So there's so many ways for you to be able to participate in this process and where you can do something meaningful that also has yeah, the economic. And let me, let me break down. When I say the knowledge business yeah, is $355 million a day. What does that mean? So there's books, there's courses, there's coaching, and then there's masterminds. And I want to break those down really quick and tell you why the last one is our favorite. Because books, I don't know about you, books have transformed my life. I've written multiple New York Times bestsellers, so is Tony, in the hands of millions of people. That's the great part. However, however, <laughs> writing, writing a, a book. book is a bitch. <laughs> 
like I, I just have to say it like it is. I mean, would you rather write a book or, or you know, fly around sit, the world? Sit and type and be yeah. reading over and over and over again this thing, going crazy or going deliver. I didn't write a new book for 20 years because I hated writing books. Yeah. I only wrote Money Master Games because I was so mad about some people in Kirk because most people don't read today. If you look at all the statistics on the web, people love to watch video. That's what they're looking for. Yeah, I mean, 95% of all books in Barnes & Noble have sold less than a thousand copies. Right. So, so books are amazing, but that part of the industry, there's a lot of people teaching that. That's not what we're gonna share with you. And you can still do that as well if you want to, but it's not where we'd start you. Right, and then the second part is courses. Now, I can only say the most amazing thing about courses because I paid for your course and it transformed my life. My first, I, I've, I've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars in course sales. So as Tony, we've got to impact lives all around the world with courses. But that's not what we're going to teach you today because with courses, listen, we build the best courses on the planet. We have Humble teams. We have 40 people in, 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 in the office right now. We have designers and architects and, and people who help pull you through so we get a 98% completion rate. But most courses, about 9% of the people actually finish. Or less. And you need a team. You need a staff. You need customer service. So we don't want to teach that because even though it's great, it's not a great starting point. And if you already have one, great. You can add to your business anyway. Exactly. Anyway. And then uh, the third part is coaching. Love coaching. Tony, you pretty much invented coaching. No joke. Outside, well, coaching was around, but it was like you coaching. had to be a therapist in yeah. those days. I was the person that called it and created it as something you could do based on results. But the only challenge with coaching is you're making a bad financial trade. Nothing wrong with it. I enjoy it and I still do it as well. But if I only coach, then you're trading time for money. And when you're trading for money, you still have another job. It's a job you control. It's a job you can do anytime you want. It's really beautiful. But if you really want to get to a point where you can reach a mass number of people, I was, I was coaching nine people a day, then 10, then 12. And literally, I was exhausted. It's like, if I want to change the world, I got to find a better way. I got to yeah. find something to give me greater reach. So I still believe in coaching. I support coaching. If you do coaching, wonderful. But there's another avenue in the knowledge business that can give you scale. Because when you're trading time for money, you're making a bad trade. You're being a financial trader. You want to be able to trade money or time or, or your knowledge for money at a different level so that you can get a scale of impact and a scale of economics. Yeah, well, and look what's changed. When you had to do your first event, you tried to put 500 people in a room. It's funny, my first event was at the LA airport. Really? And I had 12 people show up. So that's for another day. That's no, I'm not, I'm not trying. There's a lot of our lives crossed, but that's a true story. But the world has changed because if I said to you, Tony, would you, and we're going to get into the next piece that we love, what's our favorite part, what we're focused the last almost year of our life on is today with technology, would you rather write a book, spend a year and hope to sell it? Or how about doing a Zoom call with 100 people on it next week who pay you 100 bucks to learn how to eat vegan or work out better or fly fish or do hair or be a better photographer or sell better or do real estate better? That's what's allowed the world to change. So what I want to talk about, yes, books, courses, and coaching is one part but a huge part of that 355 million a day is what we're calling masterminds but I want to give you an umbrella I want to give you a framework when somebody says a mastermind you might be going no that's not me no have you ever been a part of a community right think of commu communities used to be about uh, uh, um, raising money communities now are our empire builders yeah. I mean think of Jude this is a great guy Jude we, we reached out to Jude he builds a, he helps uh, men be better entrepreneurs and high achievers yeah right now Jude is a guy and I love this story he, he said he wanted to be um, he wanted to be successful because he had no parent parental guidance and self-education changed his life and when he got it he just had this desire to give back and his biggest fear is that he wanted to be like Tony Robbins, <laughs> always knowing exactly what to say. I don't. <laughs> I don't. But now he realizes that it doesn't take that. It takes getting started. And that was just a lie that he told himself. And from that, he's gone on to make up to $15,000 in a single month. Now, I'm not saying that's all profit, but that's documented on how much money came in. Just teaching how to men, how men to be better business and better in business performance and better entrepreneurs. He built a community. They're a part of a group. They call themselves a community, right? So for us, community fits under being a mastermind. Another one is a workshop. Think of a workshop, and I, I know you like this one too. Yes, I do. Jennifer. But a workshop to me is more of like forward facing. Right? We have workshops going on how to be better at photography. I, I saw a guy doing $10,000 a month teaching young kids how to do better fades as a barber. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right? There's people helping people fly fish, uh, how to be better at sales, all these different things. But workshops, either online through Zoom or other areas online, or um, it could be in, live, person, in, person, or in, per in person as well, people are doing workshops. I love this story about Jennifer. Jennifer, she's awesome. I, I know Jennifer because I had the chance to meet her. Jennifer comes from a really great entrepreneurial family. 
and the rest of her family got in the family business. Her brothers and her sister, and she just didn't want to be in it, but she wanted to prove herself. She wanted to do her own thing. So she started helping women write better copy, meaning when they post an ad on Instagram or post an, uh, a post on Facebook, some people write too long and it doesn't impact. She learned, she studied a whole bunch of the and best By the way, how did she copies. study? She read all these different books, yes. she interviewed different people, exactly. she kind of did what we taught you. Yeah, she became right? a reporter of the knowledge, right? So she reports some knowledge, she gets good at writing, she starts helping other women, she builds it into a company, and then she thinks to herself, I wonder if people would pay me to learn to do what I do, not just do the service for them. Instead of saying, hey, I'll write this copy for you for your ad, why don't you come to my office for this workshop and I'll teach you. She, she said, will people actually pay me for what I know? I don't think it'll exist. Because right her now, big fear was I don't have a name, she said. Nobody yeah. knows who I am. I don't have a brand. I don't have anything of that nature. You don't need it in the beginning. What you need to do is get a small group of people and you add value to them. And when they get value, they'll tell others. And then when you start to understand, we'll show you how to market through Facebook, through Instagram, through all these tools, then all of a sudden that little community starts to grow. She's doing, isn't she doing half a million dollars now? Yeah, she's doing $50,000 a month. So more than that, $600,000. $600,000 a year she's yeah. killing her family is so proud. And that's just and the, who in that last two years, yeah, right? In those two years? Oh, you know, if you could pull that up, I don't know if you're pulling those up, Mike, but these are, you. we should show you these. Yeah, yes. pull them up. Yeah, she started is, a year ago. Was her she first started workshop. a year ago. It was her first workshop. She making, she was, uh, yeah, make sure you pull these up. This is amazing. And so then, if you think about it, you have a community or a workshop, and then there's groups. Now, Group training could be small groups, big groups, and the way I look at a group, it's still the forward facing. Like, it's a group of people that could meet quarterly, monthly, weekly, Zoom, live, and in person. Tony, you have your platinum group. Yes, yeah, so, I, so mean, I have a group of people that we meet three times to four times a year. Um, I have a chance, instead of like working one on one with someone coaching, where I charge a million dollars to do that, and I only can handle so many. So I said, wow, what if I took three or 400 people, which sounds like a lot, but for me, and my, you know, my seminars are 10 to 50,000 people now, I see a quarter of a million people in live seminars. What if I could just find a small group and within that group we could work on things, their body, their minds, their emotions. About every three to four months we're back together and blow them away. It's one of the most fulfilling things I do. I've done it for 14 years now. And these are my family members. And these are people like they go to the seminars, they love it, they they get the experience of those live events. But then we have this intimate kind of mastermind environment that really changes people's lives at a deep level where we get to know each other. It's it's it truly well, is I one tell of the most fulfilling things. That, that group is your family. When yeah. I meet somebody's a plat, they're like, hey Dean, I know you through Tony. I'm a plat. Like that's <laughs> how they identify. Yeah. Now, but that's Tony Robbins. Yes, it's eighty five thousand dollars a year. I have a hundred thousand dollar group that I started a few years back. Um, but there's groups, I have a $7 a month group that's served 100% through Facebook. We've been doing it, it's a Facebook group, it's an amazing community of young entrepreneurs that wanna to go to the next level. And also, look at somebody like Ryan Black. Ryan saw all his friends having dating problems. And yeah. he got frustrated with people like, oh, I love this girl and then it's not working out. I don't know what to say, how do I talk to her? How do I, how do I ask her to, to go to the next level of our relationship and is it, is it, like, he just saw it and he started studying it obsessively. How do you help my friends? How do I help myself? And he started building this community. He's provided all free content online, helping people online. He just kept saying, hey, if you need help with dating, this is what I've learned from this book and this one. He became the Which, reporter. by the way, which brought people to him because he was adding value to them. He was just giving them information they learned. They said, hey, I trust this guy, I respect this guy. They brought it closer and then he started to be able to charge for it. And now his business has grown. What's he doing now? Yeah, well, this is, he's a group training. He does it 100% online. He started at five to $10,000 a month. He sent us documentation. This is not, I'm not saying you're going to do this and I don't know what the profit margin is, but he's doing between 15 to $19,000 a month right now doing group training on how to be better at dating, how to be better in relationships. And he's crushing it and he feels so amazing. And again, his biggest fear was, am I, am I really going to give the students the results they needed? Yes. And obviously they do because they keep coming back. So again, we're talking about masterminds and under is communities and workshops and groups. And the last one is what people call a workshop. I mean a mastermind. An actual mastermind. Like an actual mastermind. And a mastermind is, uh, Napoleon Hill said it the best, right? Yeah. Anytime you bring two people together where there's some form of harmony or rapport, a third mind is formed. And that third mind has answers that ne neither of those individuals would have. When you get more than you yeah. know, two people, it starts to grow geometrically. And the beautiful thing about masterminds, guys, is you might say, I don't know if I got the ability to stand up and even talk to a group on Zoom or even talk to a group of 10 or 12 people in a little meeting sharing what I know. You don't have to do that in a mastermind. In a mastermind, you're bringing people together and they, we show you the process to get them to bring the answers to the table. And you know what, exactly. people actually own things more 
in a community, a community is not just a place you go get something, a community you go give something. And people get addicted to masterminds because I'm learning from other people really practical, specialized knowledge. Something can make me and my business grow, help me do with my hair, help me make better, better, write better software, help me whatever it is I'm looking for. These are other people in that industry. They have history and challenges that I have. And we share ideas and answers, but I'm also able to contribute to that area. And it takes the pressure off of you Completely. trying to be the expert. You don't have to be as a head of a mastermind. I have to tell you, nothing in my life it is the one thing that has moved the needle more for me than any one thing in my life i get to go i i high i hold high-end masterminds but i also attend high-end masterminds i spend hundreds of thousands of dollars going because i get to go there with my biggest problem and challenge and i get to go there also with my biggest opportunity and the biggest opportunity the group shines light on how to make it bigger and the problem somebody in the group absolutely has been through it and they give me guidance Nothing has changed my life like masterminds. Plus, they become your dearest friends. They you know, do. You, they become friends for each other. They become friends for you. And that also creates stickiness for the business as well on a positive side. People don't want to go away when they get so much value. That instead of you having to be the generator of value all by yourself, that's the beauty of a mastermind. Quite frankly, in the beginning, I did it all on my own. I learned. I grew. I was the guy from the front of the room. I did it the rough way. But masterminds are a much easier way. And in those masterminds, you're learning constantly too, which makes you a better expert. So if you do want to give a course, if you do want to step up and write a book you have got something you to got pull eyeballs from and you got eyeballs yes yeah, so and, and just so think about this when we say mastermind from this part out we mean communities and groups and workshops and actual masterminds i just got to share about dana derricks dana awesome guy if you could pull him up on the screen uh um mike um dana's an awesome dude because Oh, the goat farmer, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah yeah like literally this his video that he sent in was unbelievable yeah. dana taught people how to find partners to help promote your business so you're going out there and, and he would find somebody that's in a similar genre but not a competition and get him to be an affiliate partner to promote. Yeah. So he did it so well, he said, let me build a course. And he's like, the course is good, but it's not making the impact. Then he got nervous. He started a $25,000 per person mastermind to come to his goat farm, literally in his garage. I'm not joking, in his garage and hold it. And could this work? Would they pay me? Would they want to come to this little town I live in? <laughs> so amazing that right now he's doing $50,000 a month in top line revenue, helping people learn how to be better. $600,000 a year. Doing and and how long has he been doing it now? Two years? Uh, two years. Yeah, two, two years. years. Uh, two uh, years uh, doing it. So, the reason I wanted to share these examples, and we had our team scour people to find from all different walks of life, is because when we talk, like we didn't want to share too much to the world because you go, oh, I'm not Tony, I'm not Dean, I'm not an expert, and that's why you're wrong. In fact, I think I'm gonna to go to the whiteboard. Please do. I wanna share something. If you guys could follow me over here. Thanks, Jeremy. So let's peel this off. So being in the knowledge business is, Again, when we first share this, you might think, I'm not an expert. So just think, if you had a methodical process, if you have a skill, a hobby, an expertise, or a passion, if you had the right questions designed by Tony and I after 60 years, where when you were done, you went, holy crap, this is what I'm good at. All of a sudden, your confidence goes up, and then you get the blueprint on how to train it, whether online for a half a day or two days in person, along with tools that we've been using, I've been using most of those for over 20 years. So just think, that fear goes away. But I want to tell you the three type of people, we were calling it the KBB triangle. The three type of people, we've already mentioned a lot of times, but I want this to sum it up for you. You're either the expert. And what does the expert mean? It means you have to be in business for 50 years, doing it every day. No, that's not what it means. Take Jamie, if you could pull Jamie up. Jamie Findlay, I love this, I love this story. Jamie was a wedding photographer doing really well and working time and effort, right? So she'd have to go to the wedding, she'd have to film, she'd have to edit, she'd have to do all the pieces. Well, then she started teaching her friends and then more friends wanted to learn. So right now what Jamie does is she holds, holds uh, expert workshops on how to be in the wedding photography business, how to market, how to brand yourself, how to do amazing pictures, how to get other people to help you, how to get interns. She does this now and she's so fulfilled. She, same thing, her biggest fear, would people actually pay me for what I know? I haven't been doing this for a million years. This is what, the world has changed. People would think, just 10 years ago, you'd say, I wanna be in the wedding business. Where can I go to college to learn how to be yeah. a photographer? Yeah. People don't think that anymore. You know where they go? They go and look for who's somebody, I wanna learn from a professional, I wanna learn from a non-professional who's doing it, rather than the professional teacher. Meaning a non-professional teacher. teacher. Yeah, non-professional right. teacher yeah. that's doing it, rather than the professional teacher. So that's a great story with Jamie. So now you might be saying, okay, 
all right, if I had a, if Tony and Dean were guiding me, I could extract it, I could share it, okay. But what about if I'm not an expert? I don't have any expertise. I just got out of college, or I've been in a job that hasn't challenged me forever, but I'm ready to tap into my full potential. Then you'd be re the reporter. Listen, I told this story on stage, and I'll, I'll rob this. I mean, the, the, the best idea, the best example of a reporter is money master the game. Yeah, it's it, one of the greatest. Yeah, because what I did when I, I saw this, I saw so many people suffering during 2008, and I knew a lot in the financial area. I'd coached Paul Tudor Jones, one of the top 10 financial traders for 24 years, and lost money in 24 years. It was all him, not me, but I got to learn a lot. And I thought, what if I went interviewed, because people are going to say, if Tony Robbins, he's a motivator. They don't know who I am. They don't know what I've done in the financial area. What if I interviewed 50 of the smartest people in the world, the Warren Buffetts, the Ray Dows, the Carl Icons, and figure out what makes them tick? What makes them so successful to go from nothing to multi-billion dollars? These are all people like Ray Dalio started in a two-bedroom apartment, right? And now the guy's got $160 billion that he manages. And so I figured out what they did. I applied it. And I taught it, I put it in a book, and I taught it to people. But I gotta tell you what else benefit happens. When you go to teach other people and you learn things, you apply it yourself. I took what I learned from them in my little 50, 100 million dollar companies and converted them to billion dollar companies, six billion now a year, just from what I learned in that area. But it started earlier. Uh, the, there was a guy, when I was first getting out, I was interested in the, the skills of leadership, and I was interested in influence, and I was interested in persuasion and negotiation and sales. And the number one guy in the world at that time was a guy named Tommy Hopkins. And he was like 20 years my senior, and he had big seminars, like 1,200 people, and I was like, how am I ever gonna do this? And I thought, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna interview 50 people who are making a quarter of a million dollars or more, back then that'd be like a million dollars yeah, or yeah. more today, in the sales profession. And let me find out what they did, from car sales people to insurance people, and I did it. And so I was the reporter, I gathered that knowledge, and then I started doing little seminars, and the seminars grew from 50, 100, 200, and pretty soon there were a couple thousand people, and I was out streaming Tommy Hopkins, no disrespect, he's a beautiful man, but I got to kill it because I was bringing new information that wasn't mine, it was from the best people in the field, and that's what I'm best at, is extracting that, and that's what you'll get in this yeah, course. And, and the cool here. part is, when Tony did it, he had to fill events, that's and you right. had to fill events through direct mail, through advertising in the newspaper or TV, yeah, right? Expensive. In today's world, you pick up your phone, you have the opportunity to share this knowledge, and that's why it's growing. I mean, I, I share, I mean being the reporter is how most of us start and you have the opportunity to go out. And I share this, I, I gotta share this really quick. If I wanted to be in the, if I was doing a weekend workshop on how to be a, a wedding photographer, and I said to you, hey, come to this weekend workshop, and I'm gonna show you how to get in the wedding photography business, how to market it, how to have a great style, how to brand it, and how to get somebody else to do the work, and you'll be at 250 a year in 18 months. Give me a thousand bucks for a weekend Zoom workshop. But I have one, a disclaimer, I've never taken pictures and I'm not a wedding photographer. <laughs> I just did this in front of 9,000 people when we were yeah, in know, Chicago. And I said, who would buy from me? Not one person <laughs> raised their hand. But then I said, okay, same stuff. I'm going to teach you how to market, brand, look great, do great, do all these things. Um, I have to disclaim, though, for this $1,000 weekend workshop online through Zoom, I have to disclaim I've never been in the wedding business. But here's what I did. I went on uh, uh, I went on Instagram, I found the 10 top wedding photographers making the most money in America. I DM'd them, I got in contact with them, I got them on the phone and I extracted the 10 best strategies from the 10 best in the United States. I correlated that information and I wanna share with you the 10 best strategies from the 10 best in the world over a weekend workshop with Zoom and you can make 250 grand a year. Who would like to be in that workshop? The entire audience raised their hand. So we get rid of that. If you're not, the, and you can come back on this camera, if you're not the expert, at least you don't feel that you are, then you gotta be the reporter of someone else's expertise. Which will turn you into an expert eventually, because you'll, you'll have specialized knowledge nobody else has. And then the last one is being a knowledge broker. Can I take that one? Yeah, Because that's what, this is where I started. So I didn't have the skill. I was still in the learning the reporting stage. And I met this man, Jim Rohn. I went to a seminar. It changed my life. And I, I wrote him. It was Christmas Eve. I got kicked out of my house. My, my dad <laughs> I got kicked out too. My mom was a powerful woman. <laughs> he went back east. I was on my own. I remember I wrote this note. I sent it to his offices. I said, I'm going to bring you to the San Gabriel Valley, east of Los Angeles. I'm going to promote you. I didn't know how to promote. I just want people to know what you have. And so I stumbled across. And I didn't get the job initially. But I eventually went to work for him where I would go fill his events. So I was a knowledge broker. And then I became a broker when I said, I want to bring other people to the table. I want to start my own business. I want to have multiple speakers. And so that's what I did. And then gradually over the years, I got better than some yeah, of the yeah. people I learned. I had a skill set and stage. I became the expert. So it's like, you can hit this from many different angles. And the secret is you can start as small as you want and do something that's so meaningful and enjoyable 
earn really well while you're building into something even larger. Yeah, switch over to this camera. I want to show you this too. So this is this is what I really want to bring, and, I, and I'm just I'm obsessed with whiteboards. <laughs> I, I can't do I can't do slides. So think about it. If you'd love to tap into an industry that's going towards a billion dollars a day by 2025, this is one of those things you look back in 10 years and go, shit. I was watching Tony and Dean. They said this was happening. It took over. Old education's dead. This is the new way. I could have been in there. So if you're excited about that, whether you're starting in the middle or you're crushing it, want to go to the next level. If you're intrigued about this industry, there's no excuse. Because if you have a skill, honestly, if you die someday with a skill or an expertise in your he head and you don't share it, I think you should feel guilty. That's what we want to do. We want to make self-education the new norm. I have a skill, I should, sk I should share it, create significance, create impact. But if not, you'd be the reporter. If not, you're the broker. This covers every single one of you watching right now. What you, one of you fit here, and here's the cool part. Because of the change in the world, change of technology, you could do it virtual or in person. And, he, and the thing is, too, if you say, but I don't know what to teach, that's what we're going to talk about in a minute. We take all that away. This, we have 60 plus years. But here's the cool part. If you open up and show this whole screen, this is everybody watching. You could do it virtual or online. You could do it in person, right? It's not the book, it's not the course, it's not coaching. It's one to many. And then lastly, you could decide if you'd build a community. Like the girl that does um, uh, right here, endometriosis. Yeah, this is a perfect Gavin, example. If you want to bring up Gavin, I love uh, what they've done. I mean, she built a community helping women conquer endometriosis and she's not a doctor she's not a nurse she was just the reporter and did it so she built an amazing community. but, but here's but the most important thing she made went through the process of all the pain and solved it she navigated through it so she has specialized knowledge to help somebody else and save them decades or months or years with the pain that's the power of what this is really all about that's what the knowledge blueprint business really is is showing you the blueprint of how you can help others and help yourself simultaneously yeah and so if you could build a community, you could build a group, or you could build a workshop. Whatever one fits you, virtual or in person, and for us, that all falls, virtual or in person, it all falls under the umbrella of doing a mastermind. Again, it's completely straight impact. The other thing too is masterminds, you get to charge more. These, these people are charging ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 in some cases because you're going there and you're condensing decades into days. You're also showing somebody how to be able to earn more. So people will spend a dollar to make 10, they'll spend 10,000 to make 100,000. Very often, like in my own industry, when I was helping people just with personal development, People don't realize if I go to this event, I could save my life, I could transform my energy, I could save my marriage. But all that seems like something in the distance. When you do things that are dimes to dollars, like things of this nature, where you're showing somebody how to solve a problem right now, people will spend the money for it and it's happening all over the world. And the marketing part is the best part because you might be saying, exactly. okay, what if I already have a business too? What if I'm already in this business, Tony? How do I take it to the next level? Or I'm brand new. Let me make it really simple. I got 54 companies. When I take over a company, the very first thing that I do, and I'll give you two pieces of advice right now, whether you're starting from nothing or whether you've already got a business. Number one, I wanna find out who is the ideal customer. Yep. Who's the person I wanna serve? Who's the person that really needs this? Who's the person who's gonna want this even when the economy's in bad shape? And then I wanna know everything about them. What do they need? What do they want? What do they desire? What do they fear? Now, if you start with something that you've already gone through, you're one of those people. You already have yourself as an example, but I study everything I can to know about them. And then my job is to meet their needs. And the way you do that is you come up with an irresistible offer. And we're gonna show you how just changing a little bit of language can change literally a thousand times return on the same investment you made in a few dollars, and let's say on a Facebook ad or something you put on Instagram or something you do in any form of social media. So the secret, I'll give you an example. Uh, most of you are probably familiar with Zappos. Zappos is a company that started, you know, if you can imagine back in 1999, 2000, and they had this idea, we're gonna sell shoes to women online. Now, if somebody says, I want you to invest in this company, what are you gonna say? Are you, what, are you crazy? People aren't, women are gonna need to buy the shoes, they're gonna have to ship them to them, they're gonna have to try them on, they don't like them, they're gonna have to ship them back, no one's gonna do this. And sure enough, no one did. Now, then all come, along comes Tony Shea, he's a friend of mine who now runs the company. And Tony, and this is a bunch of guys in a house in San Francisco, and they're, they're struggling and they're losing money. And he says, guys, 
The first thing you gotta know is who's your ideal customer. He says, you already have the ideal customer because women have a different relationship to shoes. A woman can put on one shoe and she's a different woman, a different color, a different <laughs> heel. You know, for women, shoes can equal happiness. Is it true, ladies? But for guys, some guys it matters. Other guys, it's like it's a shoe, right? He goes, you got the ideal customer. He said, but you need an irresistible offer that'll make it so that they feel ridiculous not to do this with them. And he said, here's what I would do. He said, your objection is, the problem is, they gotta try these shoes on. Let them buy as many shoes as they want and here's the offer. We'll pay the shipping to you, and if you don't like any of them, you can ship them all back, and we'll take them all back, no cost to you, and we'll pay the shipping both ways. Now, Bam. if you heard this story, yeah. and That's you're an investor, you're like, you're crazy, you're gonna go bankrupt. He says, you're gonna go bankrupt anyway. You might as well have an irresistible <laughs> offer. Today, that company grew to over a billion two. They sold it to yeah. Amazon, and Tony still runs it today. Right. I want you to know, all this really comes down to is saying, who do I wanna serve? Who, what's something I have, or someone else has, where I could take that information and help somebody, who are the ideal people to go after? And then what would be the irresistible offer? And we will walk you through that, as well as how to build the course, how to lay it all out. And we built it all the way down from not only a training you in this in our course, but also being able to do a software that just automates it for you as well. Yeah, I mean, we listen, in a moment here, we're gonna share more, but we spent over a half a million dollars creating a software that's got a wisdom extractor. So you can literally go through a process that we developed. So when you're done, you go, wow, that's who I am. That's who I need to attract. This is how I built the, build the irresistible offer. This is the curriculum. Let's go after this. Yeah. And if I was you right now, if I was watching, say, okay, Tony, I get it. I get it, Dean. The knowledge industry, it's exploding. I want to make more money. I want to make more impact. I want both at the end of my life. I'd like to be in this business. I could see I could be an expert, a broker, a reporter. I like being in front of people. I do it in person. Now, I'd rather do it behind the, a screen. I'll do it on Zoom or other online uh, ways. And I want to build a community. No, I want to build a group like Tony did. No, I want a mastermind where the collective genius in the room gets better. Or I want to do a workshop where it's a weekend. I'm going to show people how to do exactly what I do in a weekend, change their life forever, get my check and go. So now I would say, oh my, I mean, I hope right now we painted the picture. I hope we did you a service today because we have so much we want to share in a short period of time. I hope we did that service. But the only thing left I'd be thinking is, how do I get paid for it? And that's the part that in this partnership, yep. that's what I've obsessed on more than how do anything. I fill the, how do I fill this class? Yeah, how do think? I fill the class? And I want to share this. When Tony and I started, not that it's that whole walking uphill both ways like our <laughs> parents did, <laughs> but we had to go out and cast big nets. I did an infomercial because he did. That's the only reason I went in the infomercial. And you were expensive. Good. It took huge risks. I was a couple hundred thousand dollars in on credit cards to see if I got my first order. And then we'd have to hope somebody walking by the TV would want what we have. The world has changed so much that instead of social media using you, we show you how to use it. You have the opportunity. If you wanted to find pregnant moms who make $100,000 a year, who like peanut butter and jelly and do Pilates, you literally in 15 minutes could go find tens of thousands of them and provide them exactly what they need. So it doesn't matter what niche you're in, what you do for a living, what where you want to be the reporter, you can have access. If you look at Aaron and Jocelyn, if you pull them up, Aaron and Jocelyn were just a great couple. Like every time they were around people, they were like, you guys get along so good, you should help us, you should help us. So they started putting stuff online, they started building a community, they just started sharing stuff for free. And then his wife said, why don't we do one of those workshops? And he's like, I don't know, who's gonna pay us? They won't come. Right. They started doing workshops. They are completely self-employed. They both quit their jobs. They're doing $16,000 a month That's incredible. helping people with relationships. This is, there's, listen, there are no limits. There's no boundaries. This works wherever you are in the world. There's zero boundaries. One last thing I want to say about this too is we all know, and Tony, you've been sharing this, why you pounded the street, that's why you wrote that book. Winter is coming and it's eventual that the economy will turn. And if you Google it, you'll see when the economy turns, Companies and people obsess on specialized knowledge more than anything else. So talk about not only putting yourself in an industry that's exploding, putting yourself in an industry that if the recession economy proof. it's recession proof. Yeah. Yeah. And you get to make impact during that time like you did. I think, that, I think it's so important for you to realize though also that what would get in the way. We've talked about how great this is. Yeah, yeah. Say, okay, what's the point? You know, how do I do this? Yeah. We'll show you how, but what gets in the way are your fears and your limiting beliefs. And so one of the reasons I said, let's reach out and say to people, what would hold you back or what questions you have? You know, we had like 50, you know, people in a, in a row almost <laughs> saying some of the same things. Like the number one thing that you saw on the list that we saw with these different emails is someone would say something like, again, what are people, they're not gonna pay me. They don't know who I am. I'm not Tony Robbins, I'm not Dean, I'm not anybody like this. 
this. Well, that's why I wanted to give you all these examples to show you that these people didn't do it either. But I'll tell you what the secret is. People ask me all the time, even in public speaking, yeah. how do you get up there and do that? You know, it scares the hell out of me. I'm never scared because I'm not focused on me. So let me give you a tip. If you're focused on, oh my God, are people gonna like me? Are they gonna respond to me? You're gonna have a problem because you're in your own head. You're not focused on serving them. My focus, even when I had nothing, was to say, what do these people need? Who are they? What do they want? How can I do more for them than anybody else is doing? And I would gather my resources, my insights. I'd go to books, and then I'd get up there, and I'd only talk about what I was passionate about. And I didn't think about how I was coming across. Some of it I come across even now. It's terrible. But what matters is getting to the outcome where you truly serve people. And if that is your obsession, there is zero fear. There is only fear when you're thinking about how I'm coming across. And that's also true if you're saying, are people gonna like me? Are they gonna respond to me in the business? All you've gotta do is focus on serving them. Provide content, it can be free sure. content in the beginning, and people will like you because you're adding value to their life. People will respond to you and you will become gradually an expert. So this is not instant overnight, but you can see people starting a business in a year or two, earning sizable amounts of money by anybody's stretch from 10,000 a month to $50,000 a month or more because they've got themselves in the game. You gotta let yourself get in the game. You can't allow yourself to be stopped by those limiting beliefs. The other one I hear people say is, you know, I don't have the resources, I don't have the money, I don't know where to start. I didn't have any of it either, none of us did. But here's what we did, we made a decision that this is something we wanted to make our life. We wanted to serve people, we wanted to make a difference, we wanted to bring information that was valuable, and we wanted to make it our business so we could do it full time and provide for our families. Any human being can do that today and we've got the expertise to show you how. But what you gotta forget is it's not about resources, it's about resourcefulness. When you are resourceful, see, people say, I don't have the time, I don't have the money, I don't have the computer program, I don't have the right people, I don't have the knowledge base. You can get the time, the energy, the money, the creativity if you're resourceful. If you're, if you're passionate enough, you'll find the answer. If you're determined enough, you'll get through the problem. If you care for other people enough, you'll pull them into you. So I want you to know, resources are never the problem, it's just resourcefulness. And we can show you how to compress to go from where you are to where you're going to be in the shortest period of time because we've made the mistakes and we also know the tools now that can scale you and take you very, very rapidly and save you that. The secret in my whole life has been, I can learn by my own experience or I can learn by other people. Everybody knows in business, OPM, other people's money is valuable, it's leverage. But the thing that's more valuable than OPM is OPE, other people's experience. Yeah. If you can learn from the best in the world, you can save yourself a decade or two. That's what our passion is. That's why I've been talking like this. And now let's talk to them about how they can participate. Yeah, yeah. So Listen, we have, we were, we were just talking about, we were on a golf course, I golf twice a year and it's with this guy. So, and we, <laughs> golf we golf eight or times. nine holes, right? And I, and I love golf with you because you just pick the best holes. It's amazing. <laughs> so we're on the golf course and we're always talking about doing business together. We've been knowing each other almost a decade. Yeah. And we always go, ah, let's just go golf. Ah, oh, let's go eat. <laughs> and we don't, but we got on the subject, the subject of self-education and how do we make it the new norm? Without my guidance counselor said, go work at a factory, no college, ooh, maybe stay working on cars. Not that working on cars is bad, but there was nothing in the middle until I found self-education. So how do we leave a legacy? We help you extract it, share it, and profit. Or be the reporter, share it, and profit. So we spent the last eight months putting together a process, a blueprint for you to follow. Listen, here's what we know. If you're still watching right now, you're intrigued about another level. You'd like to, to tap into your full potential. That's what we all want. Dale Carnegie used to say it all the time. I loved it. The biggest plight in the world is knowing you have more potential and you're not giving it. This is one of those chances, and here's what we know. You're gonna have to gain new capabilities. Our best thinking always get us to where we are, right? Tony's, when I got his course, new capabilities, I went to another level. You're gonna need next level capabilities, and you're gonna need someone to train you. You're gonna need someone to guide you. And Tony and I would like it to be us. Yeah. We just spent eight months, spent oh, well over a half a million dollars just on a software alone to help you, and we wanna share that with you right now, and we call it the Knowledge Business Blueprint. Mike, you could go to those slides. And here's what we created for you. I'm gonna go through this step by step so you really understand it, is let's go here. The first part of the Knowledge Business Blueprint is to extract it. Uh, <laughs> the Knowledge Business Blueprint, here's the greatest thing. This is the first course this guy's done. I've been waiting for freaking years. <laughs> and when you start this course, Tony will set the anchor for foundation like nobody's business. We've already let just 100 people into the course just to see. 
and they're losing their mind. You gotta, like, you gotta, later on, well, you should I'll look show. online and just see the comments because these are people, some of them are, are new and some are seasoned veterans and they're completely blown away. This is everything I'm, I'm trying to do, a seminar, an event, I do more seminars, events, and yeah. courses, obviously. I want to make sure that it is unmatched. We have done that here and you yeah. have done that here in an extraordinary way and not because we're patting ourselves on the back, but because with 60 years experience, we'd have to be idiots not to see there are patterns that can help people get the answer quicker than they've ever seen before. And we know exactly where to go and we've designed it for you. Yeah, exactly. And so just think, and pull that slide up for just a second here, Mike. The first part, not only do we set the foundation, this is where we teach you how to extract your confidence, to know exactly, go through a process that Tony and I created that will just immediately show you, oh my God, this is what I'm good at. And then what Tony said before, how do you identify your ideal client? And then this is the part you're gonna love, a systemized agenda builder. So if you say, I wanna do a half a day through Zoom on how to cut hair, it will build your agenda. And here's the cool part. We will incorporate, we put in 20 of our, 20 years worth of tools that we use. So when you think about creating a mastermind, like, or, or an event, or a group, or a workshop, you're like, well, what do I, this where, lays where, it where, out. Where are you going to go to get that? You know, and also, it's like, listen, you know, if you've been to one of my events, I do events 12 to 14, 16 hours long in a day. Some of them are four days, some are seven days, and we got 10, 12,000, 50,000 people there. And the guy at the top of the building is completely engaged. In a world where people won't sit for a three hour movie, yeah. the someone spent $300 million on their stare on their phone? Nobody does. And there isn't by luck and it isn't by magical personality. I've designed every bit of those events so there's a wave of change that meets all the needs that a human being has. The need to be able to learn, to grow, the need to have a new sense of power in your life, the need to connect with other people, the need for variety. And we, both of us, have figured out over decades how to make something irresistible and you don't have to try and figure it out. We can take your knowledge and plug it in. It'll put you in a format that we've already no works for people not only in America but all over the world. I work in a hundred countries and it doesn't matter. I've got the last seminar I did we had eight languages translated simultaneously on headsets 12, 14 hours a day and people are saying this is the greatest experience of my life. How? By this exact process. extraction and design process that we're going to take you through. So the first part of the course is extract it and understand how to build it and use the right tools so they have the experience of a lifetime. The second part and you can go to this Mike is how do you fill it? Right? That's, that's, that's right. how do you collect money? And here's the thing. This is the part that changes everything because you are going to get our exact process on how to sell without selling, how to have the confidence to go online, to go. I think I have a, a yeah, this next piece I wanted to share. We go through and teach you how to market, if you like, on Facebook, through email, through Instagram, through social media, through word of mouth, YouTube. through any YouTube, every place possible to market, we give you the step-by-step -step process on how to show you extract what we actually your ideal do. client. <laughs> exactly yeah. how we do it. It's how you got here today. It's the same processes that we show you and you can do it at whatever scale you want. I want to go get 12 people or I want to get 1,200 people. This is the process that gets the job done. Yeah. So, so the first part, you extract it. Now you have the confidence. Now how do I fill it? How do I market it? The last part, you could run, pull this up, Mike, is how do you run it? How do you create what Tony said, the ma I, I was been calling it in the course, I call it the, the magic, and I know you did too, the magical dance. Because do you ever go to an event and somebody overwhelms you with knowledge and halfway through you just want to leave because you want to vomit? Or, or there's not enough knowledge Or you're there. so motivated, you're inspired, but you leave and go, what do I do? If you ever been to anything Tony does or seen what I do, you leave motivated and you go take action. So this is the perfect process that we call Story Teach Tool, and we teach you how to run it step by step, whether that's stress-free management online with your agenda or doing it in person to in-depth if you're going to have a big event every single detail without missing a step and then the last part and this is the part that brings in every single person watching there's a whole training you pull this up mike is the knowledge broker this is if you are going to be the reporter of someone else's knowledge like we talked about like tony did with money master of the game or you want to be the broker like he did with jim Rohn, where you're partnering with someone that's an expert or you're being the reporter of expertise this is how you know how to contact him how to talk to him how to get him to engage what kind of deal do you do with him how do you market how do you split the profit literally we miss nothing on how to go from zero into this business and if you're already in this business you already know what it can do and let me just share what we did. We let 100 people into the course. Yeah. And we let people who had never done this all the way up to someone like Lewis Howes. If you could bring this up. Lewis, I don't know if you know Lewis. Great dude. He's got one of the top podcasts. He just passed 100 million uh, downloads of his podcast. This is what he said. 
Uh, Welp, I just watched the mastermind sales training from Dean, implemented it and got two sales in an hour today for $90,000. Now, I'm friends with Lewis. He got this course and lost his mind. He thought he was doing yeah. us a favor yeah. by going through it. And he's like, Dean, I, I didn't. He's transformed his company. And right now, his sales are way beyond. He said he's on his way to $300,000 because I created a process that we've used forever to sell without being hypey, to sell without being pitchy, to create an application process. So you learn every little piece. But then there's somebody like AJ who's never done a, a mastermind in his entire life. And remember, when we say mastermind, it could be a group, a workshop, a community. But he spent 14 hours and obsessed and geeked, and geeked out on the course. He said, yeah. Tony Robbins always says, if I was going to do this, I'd do I'd it take a weekend. weekend and do a total immersion, right? And he added his fifth person. He started his first mastermind. He's got five high paying mastermind students already. And the list goes on and on. This guy said he spent $20,000, didn't get 10% which, what's in the KBB. And this is the last piece of this part, of this section. So now you have the extract it, you have the fill it. You have the run it and you have the knowledge broker. I want you to think about, Tony has a waiting list of people that want to pay him a million dollars to consult for him. I've been paid $100,000 for a day for consulting and have a waiting list. I don't have time. So when it came to us immersing ourselves, we put eight months in this, countless videos and time and effort and energy. We didn't even get to the software yet. How do you price something like that? So when we said, what's a price on it? You could pull up the screen. We said, would $5,000 be fair? I mean, if you're getting a million dollars for being a... Yeah. And, and to give you the insights of not only how we extract, how we create the course, how we market the course, how you collect the money, how you expand it, how you improve it, every aspect of the business. Yeah, every aspect of it. And we didn't miss a thing. That's not what you're going to pay. But we wanted to put a value on it that's real. We could have put $20,000 on it. But here's where it gets really interesting. The course is everything you need. It's the total immersion. But now, how do you create... How do you create a software that is your assistant, is your guide through the entire process? Mike, if you wanna pull the slides up. We got the Knowledge Business Blueprint course, we know that. But now let's get to the Mind Mint software. This is what I am so excited about. This is what we've obsessed on for eight months. This, this, blow you away. Is, this is something that Tony and I wished we had 20 years ago. Oh this is a software, not our overhead, not our staff. We spent $418,000 just on this software. And what it is, is look at this, pull up the slides, Mike. First is the wisdom extractor. Now think about wisdom extraction. We teach about it in the course, but this is a digital process that takes you through. It takes you through a digital process, and when you're done, your agenda pops up. You could swipe in our tools, swipe them back out. I think I want the where are you tool. No, I want the, uh, you know, the success loop in here. And you can build your agenda. The confidence this gives people, the people that have been in the software, changes them forever. People Fundamentally, in the industry get excited. The people that have seen it in the industry immediately because it's just a shortcut for anybody. And this is the part you love. Bring that back up, Mike. The next is the point and click marketing. What? Listen, no businesses work without marketing. And if you don't like that word, you, then you just need to love what you do. When you get a chance to impact people's lives, I want to be the best marketer in the world because I know if they read my books, come to my events, come to my masterminds. If you go to Date With Destiny, UPW, you know this guy transforms your life. So we must market to bring people in. But here's the cool part. You don't have to think. The software we built, we took our best marketing, literally, we start at 30,000 foot explaining the process, but we bring it all the way down to point and click and use our pages. Literally the software, you go in and just change the headline from what Tony and I have to your headline. Change the price from our price to your price. We teach you how to price it. We teach you how to market. We teach you how to find your ideal client. Now, this is the part that'll absolutely blow you away, is we give you the roadmap to run these events, but it's like, I told my team when they were building this, is to make it like an executive assistant right. that takes you through the entire process that's there supporting. Do this right now, do this exercise first, start the day here, say this before you go to lunch, do this right after lunch, use this tool to close the day. It's a little bit of a checklist for success from the very beginning that you start to the very end of what you're gonna create with that program. Yeah, and, and again, it, no matter where you are, and this is the part that we really hope that we're explaining right, is the benefit of this. If you look at Joshua, I love that he said, I've been struggling for years, barely scraping by, and now I know what I have to offer. Mind mint is, is mind blowing. I love it. He said, literally a trained monkey could start a banana peeling mastermind <laughs> with this course and tool. But we didn't stop here. We have the mind mint software and we have the, the course, real value. But I wanted to make sure, and I got this from you at one of your early events is the immersion is great. But if you go to Mexico City for a month and you learn Spanish, if you come home and don't speak it, within yeah. three months, it's gone. That's right. So the course and the software are your immersion. But what I want to do is work with you every month live. 
So I sit right here every month and share the strategies for marketing, sales, persuasion, and how to scale, how to overcome obstacles. It's one of the greatest communities we have. I'm gonna give you an entire year working with me live every single month. That's $1,164. We're adding this up. The next part, this is something that we could have broken out and made completely different. Made what you're seeing right now, sure. this is my team. These are kids that I decided three or four years ago, I wanted to mentor young kids to be the best marketers on the planet. I think, Tony, you can attest to that. There's no question. These kids from Ryan and Brian and Nick and Tanner and Jeremy. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I mentored them personally, and they become stealth machines. Jeremy runs half of my company. Nick runs all my Instagram. Ryan runs all my Facebook advertising. Brian has crushed it on YouTube. If you've seen my ads, you've seen them all over the world. It's because of this group. And what I did, they cost hundreds of thousands of dollars you know, to, to pay them to do it. I've trained them personally, and what I asked them each to do is create a mini course on each one of those, from Facebook to Instagram to email marketing. Tanner teaches you email marketing. You might be here because of an email that Tanner helped push out. Yeah. You might be here from yeah. Facebook. You might be here from Instagram. It's from these guys. And each one of these is a mini course. I didn't put a price on it. I'd, I'd be making it up. It's priceless. So that's included. Also, this is what we did too, is we took the best of platinum. Yes. Listen, Tony's got the platinum group. You can't get in unless you spend $85,000 a year and it's worth every dime. He's got a waiting list of people to come in. But man, you do some of the greatest, you bring some of the greatest wisdom, the greatest and we people. Bring, and we also bring you some of the best financial people in the world. And I show you exactly what separates them apart. And I just wanted to give you something else so that you can truly get financially free by learning what the best on earth do and keeping it so simple. Because one of the things that both of us have learned is complexity is the enemy of execution. The more complex you make it, the less likely you're gonna follow through. So this course is designed, each segment of it, to make it really effing simple, where you can just take these three steps yeah. and immediately see the change. Or use the software and plug in what's already working, but plug in yourself in that example. That's the type of power we're talking about here. Yeah, and so you get the best of platinum, which people are going nuts over that. So you get the knowledge business blueprint, the software, a year's training live with me, the traffic and scale bundle, that's all my team doing a separate little course for you, the best of platinum with Tony, and then this one is unbelievable. We, we're gonna have this special guest on here in a minute, Russell Brunson, if you know Russell, started ClickFunnels, went to $100 million like that because he's obsessed with impact. He's obsessed with reducing complexity. He's obsessed with being online, making a presence and changing people's lives, but not with the old days, $15,000 website and hope somebody buys something. He really invented what people are calling the funnel. I mean, he made the word funnel cool. And what he did, because he's a part of this with us and helping us, is he created the exact funnels that you don't need a list and you don't need uh, a website to build. Everything is done for you. Like literally, you have a website between what we created in the software and this, you have a website. But what happens after the website? Do they go to an application page? Do they go to an order page? What's the follow-up? You don't have to think about any of that. Russell literally geeked out for about four days straight and created something unbelievable. We wanted to create something so turnkey that when you get it and you go through the process, there's zero questions. There's zero tone, ter, uh, stone unturned. You have the ability to impact lives, to enter this knowledge business, growing to a billion dollars a day, and do it with a gold standard course. This is unlike anything that's out there today. Listen, this is everything we're offering you tonight. The knowledge business blueprint, the mind mint software, Dean, my inner circle, traffic scaling bundle, the best of platinum, and the turnkey website and funnel from Russell Brunson, what we created tonight. It's, what, it's worth so much money. I was just gonna say, yeah. If you're gonna start a I, business and you wanted to grow a business that's gonna make you even $100,000 a year, what would you have to invest? You, yeah. Hundreds of thousands of dollars, right, to be able to get to that point. This is absurd, but this is a business <laughs> you can begin right away. Yeah, and, and because we wanna make an impact. Right now, there should be a button below or you go to kbbcourse.com and you could be the first people on the planet, besides the 100 we let in, to get the KBB, the Knowledge Business Blueprint for $1,997. You get me training you for an entire year, you get Tony's bonus, you get all my staff. There's nothing we have left out of this for you to be in this business. If you're not in it, you enter fast. If you're in it, like Lewis Howes, it takes you to another level. Listen, I hope, and we still got plenty of time here, we're gonna bring Russell Brudson up. And we're, we're gonna, gonna do Q&A We're gonna do Q&A. We get the, but we just really, this is the first time I'm ever sharing this, even yes. out loud. <laughs> so if I was a little hesitant, it's like we've done so much, we've been obsessed for eight months. We've been building all slept. of it, now it's in our first moment to actually yeah, share it And this you. is, and I haven't slept in 90 days getting this done. <laughs>
But listen, I said this in the beginning. If you're ready for another level or to start a business or tap into full potential and enter into an industry that's solving a massive problem that's on a wave up, then we believe this is the greatest business you could get into and this is the gold standard course to show you. I said something on an email and then I wanna get uh, Russell up here in a minute. I said something in an email this morning and it had such great feedback. It's because I was helping my sister-in-law and she lost her job. Yeah. And she was really frustrated about lo losing her job and it made me have this story and I wanna share it with you. Is sometimes a door closes in our life, right? It could be the job loss, the partner screws you over, it didn't work out, the, the income's not coming in in the company, all, all those things. And what happens is the door shuts, and that was by design. Whether you believe in God or the universe, it was by design that that was shut. But so many times in life, we're holding on that door trying to get back in or trying to open it to yell at the person that we're missing that a door opened up behind us. And what happens is most of the world is focused here and you miss it. Now I want you to think tonight, wherever you are in your life, this could be that new door, a, play, a place where you can create significance, you can impact other people's lives, generate income, and help solve a big problem. Right now, if this is something you're interested in, click the link below or go to kbbcourse.com and get it all. You can even have four payments of $597. Yeah, if you, in other words, we want to make this so that if, if you want to be in business and you can't put up 500 bucks or 600 bucks four times, you're not going to make it in the business. Let us guide you. Let us show you the insights. Let us save you decades of time. Let us save you huge amounts of money. Let us show you the pathway to power. So my entire life has been noticing that the most successful people recognize patterns. I don't care if it's in the financial business, they know there's certain patterns that make them successful. If it's a dancer, if it's a singer, if it's a business person. Yeah. And if you understand the patterns, you can literally save yourself decades. You can go right forward and start to make the progress that you want. And this, what's so great about this course is the repetition. You can go through it again and again. Like I tell people what I would do, that's different for everybody. You can do a little piece at a time and do like do an hour each day type of thing over a period of time. Or you go take a weekend and say, I'm just going to go whole hog and yeah. immerse myself in it do and it. then come back and do a little piece at a time. But you are gonna, our ability to continually coach you both in the course with what we're giving you in this blueprint that's in the form of the software, with the ongoing coaching that we're providing, you've got the greatest opportunity in the world to succeed at the highest level, but you gotta make that little push over the edge and invest in yourself. So if you're interested, come join us, click on and get yourself invested and get yourself started in a business that can change the quality of your life forever, as well as may help you earn a really nice income as well. Yeah, and of course it comes with an unconditional 30 day money yes, back guarantee. If you don't think it's the greatest thing you've ever seen in your life, please send it back. So here's what we do right now. We're gonna play a short little video of people that were already in the knowledge business and some of the hundred people who already got our course. Watch this video, it's so inspiring. While you're watching, click the link, get enrolled, and when you come back, we're gonna bring Mr. Russell Brunson. He's been yes, over here waiting for house. us. And we got your questions and answers. Our team's been compiling. We're gonna do Q&A. We're gonna get Russell Brunson to see what the heck he thinks. We'll be right back. Anytime you get around Tony and Dean, it's infectious their energy, their passion, and their knowledge is astonishing. It's unbelievable how much money they've spent on learning these informa this information. Now listen, this course is packed absolutely full of information that I haven't seen before. I'm learning something every single minute. There is not one wasted moment. Each module, each video in that module by itself was a transforming, life-changing event for me. You're not sure what your secret sauce is or where you could possibly be an expert. But the truth is, is that when you buy this program, they're gonna help you extract that. They're gonna help you figure out how to package it up and then they're gonna allow you to make a profit on it. I went through one of the videos about um, getting new members into my own masterminds and I got two new members to pay $45,000 in about a day and a half. So if you are spending money, your hard earned money to learn from somebody, the value better be good. So I'm super excited about this, the KBB method, because the bar has been reset. I've invested a lot of money in courses, and I gotta say, this is definitely the best course I've ever been a part of. You know, as somebody who's easily spent over six figures on courses, I've never seen anything like this in my life. I've invested over $100,000 into my education over the last few years. But let me tell you, the second I started digging into KBB, Everything changed. I legitimately got my first million dollar idea within the first module. Like I was freaking out. 
It is structured so that you cannot fail to take action. Let me tell you, this course, the Knowledge Business Blueprint, is literally a gift from heaven. It's exactly what I needed. Just the first module where Tony goes in deep on the mindset and momentum and taking inspired action, just with that alone, I mean, you're gonna just crush it. It's like having lots of mini courses crammed into one big course. The strategy that you taught on how to sell without really selling, that's what we're gonna use to sell my high-end coaching programs. I know it's worked for a lot of great people, and I know it's gonna work for me, so that's number one thing that we're implementing in my organization. Doesn't matter whether you've been in the industry a long time or you're thinking of breaking into this industry, then you have to get this program. I am now crystal clear on exactly what I'm teaching, exactly who needs to be there, exactly how I'm gonna fill it, and everyone that I have talked to once in so excited man listening to dean and tony and then listening to tony's uh very first video module i i sat down for like the next seven hours and went through as much of the course as i could the next day i did the same thing and literally i built out my entire mastermind from start to finish and i already got four people that are that have joined me uh, if you're on the fence there's no doubt about it you need to take action you need to invest because this can change your life what's up what's up welcome back hope you're <laughs> Have a man here in the house. I was just going to say, <laughs> we're with Mr. Russell Brunson, and we're going to stare at him and make sure he really delivers value. <laughs> Better. <laughs> Very awkward here. Uh, no nerves. Hey, at listen, all. if you guys don't know who Russell is, and the white shirt you blend right in, just cool. It's no, the wall. If, if you don't know who Russell Brunson is, Russell is someone who started a company called ClickFunnels that has truly changed the way people do business online. In the old days, it was a website, and you hope somebody bought something, and then what happened? And Russell simplified it and made it a process, which he calls a funnel, which you be, get the advantage of being a part of and learning from that you don't have to go out and spend all the money for the website, that you know exactly what to do with the client after they say yes and after they say no and if they get the product and if they don't. And he's created that. He's created on a mass scale for any business in the world, but he does masterminds. He teaches masterminds. He sells masterminds. He has a 25 and I think you have a $100,000 mastermind too. Yep. And Anyway, it's we love having Russell as a, uh, a and, team and, member. And, and, but I also want to just say about Russell is, you know, the industry that we're in is has got a lot of, uh, let's just say, flim flam. <laughs> be the nicest word I can come up with it. A lot of people that are just there trying to sell you something they don't deliver. And from the very first day that I met you, which was like about a decade or so ago, I remember you came to UPW. I was blown away because the just total genuineness, the authenticity. Yeah. You didn't yet have worked all this out. You were, but you were so genuine. I said, this man is going to succeed because he cares so deeply for the customer and you're obsessed with adding value, the same as we are. Yeah. So we're really privileged to have you as a partner in this. Oh, thanks. I'm so insane that I'm sitting here with Tony and Dean and like, <laughs> I love it. So thank you guys. But I've been, I've been sitting back um, um, listening and taking notes and I was on my phone looking at all the comments as they're flying through. And so I kind of wanted just to, I brought some stories and some ideas to share for some of the things I think people might be getting stuck on um, that I think will help um, anybody because I was um, you know when I first learned about this business about a decade ago um, it's actually funny um, the first time I met Dean I, I told him the story like I used to watch him on infomercials when I was in high school I'd sit at night and I would take notes I'm like oh my gosh look what he's doing and I was the geeky kid who took notes watching infomercials <laughs> and then as soon as I had um, my first eBay account I actually went on eBay and I bought every Tony Robbins course that, that was on eBay and I went through all of them and uh, so it's just super surreal to be here um, today but um, I started thinking about about myself. I think I'm a lot like a lot of you guys. Like I'm very introverted. You can ask people who go to church with me. They're like, Russell, what does he do? He's super awkward and shy. He doesn't <laughs> talk to anyone. They all think I'm unemployed. Um, <laughs> because I'm really not. So like for any of you guys who are introverted, like I, under, I feel that like I'm very introverted by nature as well. But there's something about it. Like when you start, um, when you start seeing the impact that you have, yeah. the, these ideas, these things, you start sharing with people and it starts changing their lives. Like it, like Tony, you mentioned during the, the earlier today, like it starts shifting away from like, you're worrying about yourself more like, how do I help more people? And it like, you up and get you so excited. Um, and uh, just one of the comments I read today that, that, that spurred a story I thought I'd share. Um, I have a, a friend named Nick Barely, and uh, Nick told me this. He said, he said, for most people who get in this expert business, they're trying to be, uh, be knowledge brokers or get, get their ideas out. He said this phrase, he said, your mess becomes your message. I think for so many of us, like when we, when we start in this business, it's not because like, oh, I'm going to be an expert. I'm going to be Tony Robbins. I'm going to be Dean. I'm going to be Russell. It's like there was something that like you, you had a problem. You had a mess and uh, you started trying to figure your way through that and it became something that you became passionate about and you became more and more excited and it started growing. 
And I was writing down stories of people in, the, in our community that, that I know this was their, their path. Uh, one of them is um, Stacy and Paul Martino. And they were uh, a couple whose marriage was failing and they were struggling. And um, they tried traditional counseling and didn't have much success with that. And so they tried to figure out what other tools are out there. And um, they worked with you a lot. I don't know if you know them or not. Um, but they, they transformed their marriage. And, um, and their mess became their message. And now, fast forward now, wow. you know, a decade later, they've saved over 10,000 marriages. And, and they have big mastermind groups. They charge people $14,000 a year to come to these mastermind groups. And I see the, the impact they've had. And it's, it's interesting because, um, you know, looking back 14 years ago, we would never have thought, like, oh, these are going to be people that are going to be saving marriages because theirs was, at the, you know, the, the, <laughs> the end. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but their mess became their message. And I, think I, I want to plant a seed on that because every single thing in my life that has been a huge challenge in my body, in my relationship, in finances, anything, what's kept me going is I figured if I can figure this out, whatever tools that I've got to do it, once I figure it out and help myself, then I can help millions of other people because of the scale of what happens today. And that's, I think, true of every one of these communities. Somebody had a problem and they solved the problem and it really worked and it was specialized, it was specific, it was pragmatic, it wasn't airy-fairy concepts. And now they're sharing with other people and they're earning more than they ever dreamed of because they solved their problem they're willing to share with other people. I mean, I, that is the most perfect and simple example of it. It's beautiful. So much fun. The other story is I was thinking about this too, that, that um, I got a lot of people who tell me like, well, when, like, I'm starting down this path, but like, when do I, when can I be Tony or Dean or Russell, whatever, right? And um, it's funny, one of my favorite movies is the movie Catch Me If You Can, um, yes. from Leonardo DiCaprio, and I love that movie. the movie's so cool, but if you, yeah. if you read the book, so in the book there's a couple chapters that didn't make it to the movie, but in the book, um, it tells a story where he actually went to, um, to college, and he showed up in class one day, and there's no teacher there, and he thought, I'm gonna teach the class, and he grabbed this, I think it was advanced sociology or something, grabs the book, gets in front of class, and starts teaching the class, and he ends up teaching an entire semester of advanced sociology. And when they finally catch him, you know, at the end of this movie, yeah. or the thing, they ask him, like, how in the world did you go to a college level thing and, and teach advanced sociology to this entire group of, of college students? And he said, you know, all I had to do was I had to stay one chapter ahead. And I think it's so it's fascinating so because so many of us, like, like. Yeah, you think you need 30 years in it. Yeah, yeah like, I. Like how many of us are like, well, someday I'll be able to, to, to do what you do, right? But if you would have waited till today to be Tony, or you'd wait today to be Dean, how many millions of people do you not have impacted, right? Yeah. Like when I first started learning about selling stuff online, I got excited and passionate about it, and I started sharing immediately, because I was one chapter ahead of everybody else, and I could start helping them and serving them. And then by the time they got to where I was at, I'd learn more, and I'd, I'd kind of got progressed further. I think for a lot of you guys, that's a, a big thing is understanding, like you don't have to be at the end of the road, because you're never going to get there. You just got to be a, a little bit ahead of all the people you're trying to serve, and it show them like, Here's the tools I got, the things I got. And so I hope that gives some of you guys permission. Um, in fact, that was one of the notes here is that you don't need permission to do this. Like, um, you know, I don't have a marketing degree. Do you guys have degrees no. in this stuff? <laughs> Zero degrees. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people, I heard someone say um, that I loved. Someone said, you have to tell everybody that you don't need anyone's permission to teach. Yeah. You don't need a degree. You don't need initials after your name. You need a heart and you need to be like Russell said, one chapter ahead. Right. Or you need to find somebody who already has that skill, who has produced the result, and say, let me bring that person, yeah. help that person solve it, and we show you how to do that. But if you do that for a period of time with enough people, that knowledge broker type of approach or reporter part, you'll become the expert. You'll have insights nobody else has. And again, it's specialized knowledge. It's knowledge that produces real value for you as opposed to general information. When you go to school today, the problem is it's all generalized information. Kids today are like, why do I care that Columbus went across the, the blue in 1492? I look at that, I can ask, I can ask Siri and ask Google in two seconds, right? That's the generalized knowledge. But knowing how to solve a problem, that's something that's worth something extraordinary. And so whether you have it or somebody else has it, you can make it happen. I just want to make one other comment too. You can also ask yourself, like, how long is this going to take? <laughs> well, you see people, you know, six months into it, a year into it, doing unbelievably well. But my mindset when I had, had no skill was the question is not how long does it take, it's how long do I want it to take? So I remember I went to work for Jim Rohn and he had all these people. He had like a thousand people that were helping him fill his seminar, salespeople and things like that. And you'd go out and give a little talk and I didn't know how to give a talk. And to some real estate office, some stock brokerage office, I pull up my 1968 Baja bug. I turn it off, it explodes. So I park it down the street. I go in, I got my blue leisure suit. I got the thrift store with a fake gold chain. And, but I was so passionate. Right? I was just so passionate. I was going to share with these people. I wanted to change their lives. And I poured all that into it. And I remember there was a guy that worked for Jim Rohn who has a total ego, I won't mention the name, it's been so many decades, but he was the number one guy. And he was like flaunting it over a Betty, you know, I'm this, and he was, he was mean to people, and I hate mean people, I always hated bullies. Even when I was, I was 5'1 in high school and I'd take on the bully. And so I took on this bully, I went up to him and I said, you know what? I said, I am gonna dwarf you within six months. 
I said, you're a joke. And the guy looked at me like this. And I said, you know why? Because you're lazy. Because what you, you do is you go out and you do four talk, three talks on average in a month, three to four max. And I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to three or four talks a day. I said, in 12 days, I'll have a year's worth of your experience. I said, in a month, I'll have four years of experience. I said, in a year, I'll have decades more experience. I will dominate you, I will destroy you. And I did it to kind of burn my bridges too. So now my butt was on the line, right? He's gonna give me shit. But I did, I went out and I talked to anybody. So I was one to go in and time every time I walked in this group, and this happened to some of my people. I've shared stories and they had similar things. It was a little real estate office and there's supposed to be 30 people there and six people show up and two are drunk. And the manager gets up and he starts speaking. And I don't have a lot of skill yet. I'm trying to figure things out. I'm just getting going. But that's how I got my skill, getting in these environments. And all of a sudden the police break in, grab this guy, slam him down, read him his rights, lock him up. I guess he was selling drugs on the side. And I go, that's what's going to happen to you if you don't pay attention to this program. Right? Just, I learned by putting myself in the environment. That's why I want to say to all of you, you don't have to be great. All you got to do is get in the game. And if you get in the game more often than not, you're going to accelerate more rapidly. But we're going to show you how to accelerate by not just trial and error of experience, but by showing you what that pathway is that really truly works that we've already proven over decades. Yeah, so fun. The last story I, I wanted to share, I think, um, just to, again, just to show the path for the beginners, I think a lot of the, the experts, we already seen sales coming in, so I know a lot of you guys have already got started, but some of the beginners who were like, had a question like, I don't, I don't have it, and like, you've heard the reporter thing, and, but I want to just, I want to emphasize that, because for me, that's how I got started. I got started um, in the internet marketing world about 15 years ago, pre-Facebook, pre-MySpace, it was like when Friendster was out, some of you guys may remember that, and I was trying to figure this thing out, and, um, and I couldn't afford coaches at the time. Like I wanted to pay these people to, to teach me. I couldn't afford it, and so I had this idea. I said, what if I do like a, um, a summit where I get a bunch of speakers in and they'll each teach a part of the, of, of the, the business? And so I had made a dream list of like, hey, if I could learn from anybody in the world, I learned, you know, this person's the best person in the world, the SEO and at pay-per-click and at copywriting, all the different pieces I needed for my, for my business. And I made this, this summit and I had people register for it and then I started calling all these people up, just out of the blue, scared to death, introverted Russell, like, and I was like, hey, I have like, like a couple hundred people coming to this live virtual event. Is there any way you could come on, I can interview about SEO. You're the best in the world. I'd love to, to have you to be part of it. And the first person said, yes. And I was like, this guy charges like $5,000 an hour for his advice. And he said yes, because he wanted to be you know, my little platform. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. I called the second person, the third. And eventually I had 15 people who all said yes, that I could, re I could be the reporter for them. And I started interviewing them. And what was so fascinating for me is that, you know, a lot of times you learn from afar, you know, reading books or things like that. But I was on the phone with each of these experts asking my questions, my personal questions. And I was getting an entire college degree in an hour, two hours during these calls. And I was giving it to all these people who were part of my group. And what's interesting is that very, very quick I became, I became an expert at SEO because I learned from the best in the world. And the second and the third and the fourth. And soon, like all these things I was a reporter, I became really, really good at. And I started implementing for my own business. And now fast forward 15 years later, like, um, you know, I don't think there's anyone on the planet that sells more internet marketing, coaching, and consulting than we do. And it wasn't because I was a genius or, you know, it's because I went out and I found the best people in the world and learned it initially. Ahead. And then I started doing it and implementing it and actually figuring out how it works. And so for any of you guys, like, look at this path as that's the best way to get started. Especially, you know, come back here, your mess, be, your mess becomes your message. If your life is a mess right now, or your relationship, or whatever it is, you're probably already looking for those things anyway. You're probably already reading the books and listening to podcasts. And like, what if instead of just consuming, you shift your roles and say, look, I'm going to become um, the reporter here. And I'm going to like, give myself a platform and actually ask those people my questions directly. You'd be shocked at how many people who have a New York Times bestselling yeah. book that will jump on the phone with you because you're geeking out about their topic. Yeah. You know, most of us, we go home and, and the people we love the most don't really care about what we, we talk. Like my wife, I love her to death. She doesn't care about internet marketing. I come home and she's like, I got nothing, you know? And, it, and so it's like when someone, calls, when someone calls me, they're like, hey, do you want to talk about, about sales funnels? I'm like, yes, please. Like I would love, like, it's my favorite thing in the world to talk about, yes. And so I think for most people, you understand that it's not scary. It's like they love to share it anyway. And also you can start learning a different thing. And, and as you start repairing your message, uh, you know, it helps you start finding your own message and, and the whole evolution of this business becomes amazing. And so one of the questions that, that somebody was asking before is like, well, do I have to do just one? Am I, do I have to be the expert? Do I have to? And for most of us, I think it's an no, evolution. It's, it's an evolution. It's, combination. it's an absolute You start at one and it evolves to the next and the next. And even, even in our business today, like, I would say I'm, I'm an, an expert in, in internet marketing, but we've created two courses this year where I didn't teach any of it. We brought in experts and I, we were the reporter and brought people in to teach those things. And so it's definitely something that you can, you can use all of them as different tools. I've done the same thing even, in, even now at this stage of my career, for example, uh, you know, when you talk about business, what messes up most people's business is they don't know their numbers. You know, people get a business that's like flying an airplane. If you know how to fly an airplane and you can pretty much see what's going on, visual flying rules, you're okay. But you get in a storm, that's where people die, right? And most people don't know their numbers. So I thought, 
I almost went dead on multiple companies right at the edge because I didn't know my numbers. I hired an accountant and the accountant told me my numbers and told me it was great. And I, I thought we were driving 50 miles an hour, we're driving 200 miles an hour. And I thought we had a full tank of gas and we were on E. <laughs> and so, you know, then I found like Keith Cunningham, who's one of, he was in my network of people. He followed me for 15 years and he was brilliant. He'd done billion dollar deals, but he was brilliant at taking accounting, one of the most boring subjects in the world and showing you how you can make so much more money in your business. And I thought I can absorb that, learn all that, but why would I? This stage of my life. Let me promote Keith. And so I, I brought Keith into what I do in my business mastery programs. And now we're partners in his business, basically. We have, have taken over more than half of his business, promoting it, getting him out to people all over the world, giving people this critical skill in a way that's passionate and fun and playful and where they, they want to know and they know their numbers and they can run their business successfully. But I want you to know, even at this stage, I don't need to be the, you know, the knowledge expert on everything. What I try to do is bring people Absolutely. to the very best in the world as well. So it really, you don't have to pick one. I want to get that across. I also want to get across, you just got to get started because it's like oh, most people, the goals I had in the beginning were so gigantic. And most people overestimate what they're going to do in their first year. Now, there are people here doing 10, 15, 20, 50,000 dollars the first year, but most people overestimate. They underestimate what they're going to do in a decade or two, 15 years. Where you are now versus started, 20 years. 42 years, you're, you know, a decade is going to go by that fast. You know it. You're going to wake up and 10 years are going to go by. The question is, where are you going to be? What's your life going to be like? And the answer to that question, where you're going to be in 10 years, should start now by saying, I'm going to get in a business that is growing geometrically. And I want to get in that business, not an old age business that's dying. I don't want to be in the Hilton business. I want to be the Airbnb business. Yeah. And that's really what this knowledge business blueprint's about. There is somebody right now, I don't know how many years you were in, three years, if you're a chapter ahead, a year, if you're 10 chapters ahead, you're 10 years in. There's somebody today, multiple people, wanting to start in the cleaning business. Should they really make all the mistakes you made? Should they really fail like you failed? Should they miss opportunities that you found? No, because in a weekend Zoom call, you could have them start off where you're leaving off. You can collect income, you can impact their lives, and you go on to another group. And you might say, well, how do I do that again? That's what this course That's is. What we this show course you how does. to extract it, we show you how to build the course so it's irresistible, we show you how to market it, we show you how to plug it in. Literally each step along the way, and then we coach you ongoing. That's really what this is. So it's our job to hold your hand and guide you through this process, but you gotta get yourself on the line and say, hey, this is something I want for my life, I'm, I'm going to stop dreaming. It's like I always tell people, when you talk about stuff, it's a dream. When you envision it, you get excited. When you plan it, it's possible. When you schedule it, when you enroll it, when you do something today that makes yourself follow through, that's when it becomes real. So make it real right now. Take some action right now so that we can help to coach you and get you in this business and get you to experience the kind of enjoyment, the meaning that we have, as well as the economics that can grow as high as you want them to. So I'm looking at all these great questions that come in. We've answered most of them. Freddie's a freelance worker. He said, what if I'm not good as a, I'm not a good teacher? Yeah. What would you say to that? Um, I'd actually, yeah, I wrote down a couple other stories here that could help. Like when I got started in the like teaching people the marketing side, I wasn't a teacher. I'd never, never done that ever, right? And again, introverted, scared to death. I thought the first thing I got to do, if I'm going to actually teach this, I, I've done it for myself. How do I know I can do it for somebody else? And I thought, you know, I got to find somebody and just do it, like work for free. I got to go out there and just like, prove that I can do this, right? I think some people get in and they start selling stuff before they've actually done it. It's like, go and prove yourself first. So I found somebody who I liked their business. I liked who they were. His name is Drew Cannoli. And I called him up and I was like, Drew, you don't know who I am, but I would love to come and like work for free for you. And he's like, what's the catch? I'm like, there's literally no catch. I'm going to fly myself out there. I'm going to work for you for free. I just want to see if, if I can actually teach you. And he was just like, he didn't believe me and finally was like, all right, whatever, come on out. So I flew out, spent a day with them and uh, helped work through what they were doing and helped make some tweaks to their business. And what was amazing is after that, after I left, um, I watched their business as it just exploded and they've got one of the fastest growing supplement companies in the world right now. And what was amazing is afterwards he sent me these videos kind of sharing his, uh, the success story. Like, look, Russell came, this is what he did. And suddenly like, I saw these videos and it gave me that like, confidence like, oh my gosh, I do know what I'm doing. I am able to help people. And then this, the cooler part is like, when I was trying to then start selling my marketing knowledge, there's not a video of Russell saying like, hey, check out me out. I'm the best teacher in the world. Yeah. It was just super egotistical and weird. I was like, <laughs> I, I know what I'm doing, but I helped Drew and like check out this video and they watch the video of Drew and they're like, oh, I'm going to give you money. And it's so good. So I think for the first thing I would say for any of you guys is like, figure out what you want to do and go find somebody who you can serve and go serve them for free and do it without any like, in, like, like hooks or catches or anything. Like just do it to just serve, just to give it. Value. Yeah, you just do it and, you'll, and, when, and what happens is just you're going to, when you change their life, it's gonna give you so much confidence and it becomes better and you become better and you start finding your voice through that process. And um, what's interesting, I, I think all of you guys would agree with this, is a lot of us initially get in this business because we're trying to make money, right? And you start making money and you find out really, really quickly that the money like doesn't 
give you the feeling you're looking for. It just kind of like falls flat. But then the second you help somebody and you see that, that transform for them and you see the light bulb go off in their head and they have that aha moment. Like that's worth more money than, than anything I've ever felt in my life. It's just like, that's what wakes you up in the middle of the night. Like I gotta do more, I gotta be more because like, I know that if I can help three more people like that, man, that's the feeling I'm looking for. And so um, I think the first thing is just finding somebody and go and serve them like crazy. And then all those other things will start coming with it. Yeah, Tony, when, yeah, we, were, we're good. when we were in Chicago, yeah. right, it was last week, 9,000 yeah. people. I said to the audience, what you asked when you first opened today, I yeah. said, who in this room, if you had one choice, you had to choose one or the other, would choose Massive amounts of money or massive impact. I said, who would choose massive amounts of money? Not one hand went up out of 9,000 people and 9,000 people raised their hand for impact. Yeah. And that's really why we love this, why we're so passionate, because we get to make impact. You, you already got that point. But I just want to tell you on a personal note, like what Russell said is so true. I got in this business I bought Tony's course because I was running away from a mess. My parents were married nine times by the time I got your course. I had moved 30 times. I never had security. I was running away from pain. I was already an entrepreneur. I was already on my way to being a millionaire when I got Tony's stuff, but I was dysfunctional in a lot of ways. But my whole point was I got in this business because I'm like, oh my God, I could teach people and make money? Sign me up. But what happens when you're in it is something that these guys already know. Tony's known it for 40 years is all of a sudden when you start seeing the Drew Canoli video, when you see one post, one email, one video, and then it goes to 10, and then it goes to 20, and people write you long letters, something takes over. The, the money goes away. The money becomes the byproduct of a value creation you're giving to the world. And all of a sudden, there's no man more dedicated than this guy. We're in, I know Tony doesn't share a lot of his stuff, and I won't, be, but Tony's went through a big deal two weeks ago lost a third of the blood in his body, almost passed out, was in the hospital for hours, but his desire to serve is so strong. I watched him before stage, literally, I told my fiance, I'm like, he can't do it. I I'm gonna go in and just tell him he can't go on stage. <laughs> and his desire to serve, I watched him peak up. You, when you first got out there, you were like getting, within 10 minutes, it was Tony Robbins all the way. Now, why am I sharing that? Because I feel that in my life. I watch, Brent, uh, I watch um, when Russell, we were at a, a friend of ours, Mastermind, I watched him share what he does and he becomes this elevated human and he's not talking, never once does he mention the money he has. Doesn't mention how his company broke 100 million in record time, none of that. It's, we changed this person lab, then we created this thing where entrepreneurs can feel their voice and experts can share. What I'm saying is there's a million businesses we could get in. But how cool is it to be in a business where I look back, I'm so blessed that I get to wake up every day and give people capabilities that I learn from other people or I learn through experience and allow them to go faster and I get to generate in my life over a billion dollars with my brands and my companies and like it doesn't seem possible, but again, I, I'm digressing what on personal, what happens, but it all started it's, as a- it's, it's momentum too that happens because once you get addicted to make a difference in people's lives, it's hard because what it is is love. I'm a, I'm a love bug, I love people. I haven't missed an event in 42 years, no matter what was going on in my body, my mind, my heart, oh my, my soul, my, my finances, doesn't matter. But it's because once you get that experience, it's, it's, I don't know how to describe it, it's like your creator coming through you and there's an addiction that is a positive addiction of serving that can't come close to any economics. But when you learn to serve one or two people, you feel so much joy and then 10 and then 100. And if you just keep serving, if you just keep doing what's next and keep doing the next chapter ahead, in a decade or so, you're gonna wake up and find yourself in a position where the impact of what you've done will make your life so fulfilling. And if you've done it right in the way we've shown you, you'll also have the economics, to take care of your family and to do other things. At this stage of my life, I don't have to work on the day of my life, neither do you, either of you guys. But it's like, what are the goals? I wanna feed a billion people. I mean, that, that excites me. So it's, that's another reason to be able to earn more, yeah. you know? I'm, you know, I'm, I planted 10 million trees in the last two years. I'm gonna plant 100 million trees because I wanna do my part, you know, for the planet. I, you know, I've freed, freed, freed now is 1,800 kids, young girls from slavery. I'm providing a quarter of a million people a day with fresh water. It's a different reason for doing business. You follow me? It's like once you get addicted to make a difference, then even in the things that are not your business, you'll want to make a difference. And it creates a different quality of life and it creates a sense of joy and happiness and meaning and pride in you, not ego pride, not edging God out, not me, me, me. But you know when you've overcome and you've grown and done things and you look back and see where you were 15 years ago, where you were 20 years ago, where I was 40 years ago, and that has more juice in it than all the money in the world. So we want you, this is our invitation to you to say, look, we're living this stuff. We've been living it for decades. We'd like to coach you. 
let us take you step by step through that process. It's not gonna be perfect, it's not straight up. There'll be ups and downs and all arounds, but man, you've come at the right time. You're in an industry that is now becoming a tidal wave around the world because of technology and because of the changes in the value systems around the world, and because people know I have to have the answers to compete. You can take some piece of that and become part of this and be in the front of that wave and ride that wave with joy and with excitement and with economic opportunity like nowhere else. Yeah, and, and we have so many questions and you guys had a lot of questions about the, the course itself. I'll go through that again at the end, but let's take, let's take at least one more. You want Great. to do this yeah. one? Because uh, there was a lot of these questions coming. Ethan said this, um, uh, managing director from out of the country, said, is, is there an oversupply of masterminds and groups and courses or uh, uh, <laughs> workshops in the, in the marketplace. And, and I know what I'd say and I want you to answer, but that's why Tony and I, and then along with Russell now, wanted to create the gold standard. The way this course is set, I believe with all me, if you know anything about this group sitting right here, in a year from now, if somebody says, I have a mastermind, I have a community, I have a group, I do a workshop, they're gonna say, is it KBB? Like, is it Knowledge Business Blueprint? Is it Tony certified? Is it Dean certified? Is it Russell certified? That's what we wanted to do, is create the gold standard. When you say, I run a mastermind and I learned from Tony Robbins and Dean Graziosi and Russell Brunson, it's gonna be a completely different world and that's what people are feeling who already got this course. We set the bar on a whole nother level. When you enter this course and you see how we make you take tests to evolve to the next the next section so you can anchor it in and learn. We don't want you just to dabble. We want to transform lives. We're in a place, Tony's the busiest human being I know. I think I'm the busiest guy I know until I call this guy. <laughs> to get him here to work on this course, this, is, this was a dream of mine. I wrote in a journal 20 years ago, I wanted to shake your hand and thank you. And you're welcome. Thank you, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> thank and you. now I'm here because of this business and this is your opportunity. You can extract all this knowledge by in a moment here, click the link and grab this course tonight. All these crazy bonuses, even this crazy bonus that the crazy bonus he put in. So that was a long answer, but what do you say to people who think, is there an oversupply of this on the market? Uh, not at all. I mean, you think about like, how many kids go into college every single year? And you know, I went through college, I, I finished, and the experience didn't leave me with, with much left over. I'm like, every single year, there's that new group of people coming through, and then there's people every single day with new problems. There's problems in marriages, in finance, in health, and like, it doesn't, it doesn't slow down. The, the number of humans are growing rapidly. Population, the world's growing. Population's growing, growing and, like, and there's so much need, and like, sometimes, you know, I look at, at my company, how many people were helping. But then even within that, there are people in my community that don't connect with me for some reason. Like they, like I, I use Russell software, but like he's not my, my flavor, but there's a guy in Chicago who runs a local mastermind group and talks about funnels and like they love that guy because that's who they connect with and they understand. And so like, I'm not everyone's cup of tea. Not everyone's like Tony or Dean or like, it's, it's, it's people that you attract. Like when you start putting your message out there and your things out there, your people will come to you and they'll start following you. And so that's what I think is really encouraging. And like, I, you, don't, you don't have to have a million people or a hundred million people following you to have an impact. Like you have 10 people, you have a hundred people, like you can change the world for those people and, um, and be super financially secure. And so don't think because there's like five or six big people doing it, it doesn't matter. Um, people are always looking, even within what we're doing, the specialization of, of you as a human and who also, they connect with. They're looking for authenticity. People are, if, if people are so sick and tired of bullshit and we all have giant bullshit meters now you have it watching this you can feel that the genuine feeling that somebody has in that area and as far as the size and scope of it all, I told my team you know we see a quarter of a million to 350,000 people a year in live programs it's about as big as anybody on the face yeah. of the earth and I was like guys we can go to LA and see those numbers over and over again. We go to, you know, 100 countries. I mean, there's just no way you could ever exhaust it. We're, we're touching the smallest number of people, reaching more online, more through social media, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of people. And yet there's billions of people. There are two billion people that in the next four years, they're gonna join the internet. Two billion. Think about that. They're all people that are gonna be looking for resources and ways to solve and, sh and change a problem. And so you have an opportunity to tap into that and the time to get started is now. You know, it's, it's like the longer you wait, the harder it is. Just get yourself in the game, go immerse yourself. In this. And you got nothing to lose, we've got a money back guarantee. So is it, what is it, 30 days? What do we have? 30 day money back guarantee. You can listen to the whole thing multiple times during that time. But if you immerse yourself in this, your fear will disappear and action will start to move forward and then we'll continue to guide you on a monthly basis. Yeah, well, anything else I want to share? We had so many questions about the course. Anything about uh, Basically, that? I want to say um, is just, I know for some of you guys are looking at this, you're like, ah, $2,000 is a big investment. But like, if you put it in perspective, like when you do your first workshop, like do a weekend workshop, charge people a couple hundred bucks and get a group from like that pays for it. And then from that point forward, for the rest of your life, you have this skill set that will continue to pay for itself over and over and over and over again. And I think a lot of times people say, well, I'm not going to buy this because I don't want you guys to have more money. And it's like, I want everyone to understand like, 
if you invest in this course or not, like it's not going to change Tony's life or Dean's life or my life at all. Like one iota will shift about my life whether or not you invest in this. It's not about any of us. This is about you guys. And we've put our hearts and our souls and everything into this because we know what the impact it can have on you. And the money that you, you put into there really is like a commitment on yourself saying, look, I'm actually going to do this. Um, I always say people, if they don't pay, they don't pay attention. I've seen that so many times. I've had people I've invited to my events who are friends and say, hey, come, come, and, come into my event, you know? And they're sitting in a room with 4,000 other people that have paid to be there. And my one friend that invited shows up. And what's crazy is that of any friend I've ever invited, not one has ever done anything with the stuff that they, they learn. Yet the people who pay and show up and make that investment, they actually do something. So that's why we have a price for this. That's why it's not just a free thing we give to everybody because we need your attention. If you're going to have success with this, we need your attention. And so this is how we do that. Like I said, the very first time you run your very first group, your very first mastermind, it'll more than pay for itself. And then at that point forward, you have the skill set for the rest of your life. And we've all done this. I mean, I, I went to my first, I went to work for Jim Rohn and you know, I told you I went to that $35 seminar and then afterwards I talked to him, I want to come to work for you. And he said, well, hold on, young man, you got to go through all my courses for us. And I and the, all those courses together, I think were like $1,200 in those days. And my car that I was sleeping in, my 1968 <laughs> Volkswagen was $1,200, $1,100, $100 less, right? <laughs> less. And I said, listen, I said, loan me the money. And I said, then I'll go to the course and I'll, I'll become so successful and I'll create a great story for you. And he's like, young man, I'm not your banker. He said, some people have to, some people want to be rich. And he said, not just financial, emotional, spiritual, spiritual, physical, and some people have to survive. Which, decide which one you want. I'll see you on Saturday if you got the money or not. And I literally went to banks to borrow $1,200. I was 17 years old. And it's like, I got really good at knowing they're going to say no like when I walked in, you know? <laughs> and I remember I was <laughs> running out of time. And this is a true story. I was running out of time. I was in a place on Citrus Avenue, West Covina, California. So there's a Bank of America there. And I'm about to walk in. And I was like, I'm out of days. I got to get someone to loan me this money. And so I, I made this move. I didn't know what making a move was. I just got myself there. Down. I stormed in this place and I looked for somebody who looked persuadable. And there was this sweet looking lady. I thought, she'll understand. And I walk in in my hyped up energy like this. And I say, ma'am, my name is Tony Robbins. I'm here today to borrow $1,200, not to fix a car, not to go on some vacation, so I can attend a seminar. And she started to laugh, which was not a good sign, right? And I'm like, no, you understand. She goes, you're going to what? And so I started explaining to her. I'm gonna, I said, I'm going to learn this stuff. I'm going to change my life time management, financial management, business management, life management. I'm going to learn this and I'm going to help, I think millions in those days, hundreds of thousands of people. She said, calm down. She was looking at my, my, you know, my application. She says, well, she goes, Citrus Avenue. She goes, you live on Citrus Avenue. It's a long street, goes through four cities, Commercial Avenue. She goes, I know there are any apartments on Sister Aston Avenue. I said, well, I kind of have a mobile home. I was, I was, it's a true story. I was parked. My car. <laughs> no, I parked between Denny's and 7-Eleven because it was 24 hours. And I made a deal with the mailman. I told him what happened to my life. And I pick up my mail at 7-Eleven, right? So I couldn't lie to her. So I said, well, here's what I do. Stay at 11. You'll send the address. You'll send my bills there. I'll pick up at 7-Eleven. She goes, I'm going to tell the bank that we're going to send bills to 7-Eleven. And you're going to show up. He promises he'll pay. And I was like, no, I'm going to do this. And so finally at the end, she says to me, she goes, I think you're going to do something with this intensity. She goes, well, I could be something good. She said, I'm going to talk to the bank, but she goes, I don't know if they're going to let you do this. She goes, I said, you got to. She goes, but if the bank won't loan you the money, I will. And Jim Ron had told me that his original business, he got a banker to loan him the money out of his own pocket. She convinced the bank to give me the money though, in the end, but she made me promise she wouldn't have to look for me. I took those 1200 bucks. Now I go to a seminar and I meet Mike Keyes, who's still one of my dearest friends, 41 years later. Hi there, Mike. And he was almost as broke as I was, but he didn't have enough money for a room. And we sat through that Jim Rohn seminar and 1200 bucks and we wrote down, he said, the, we were the, right? We didn't, we didn't leave to go to the bathroom. I trained myself to be able to deal with the way I deal with things today, right, from this thing. And literally because we figured every word was like three cents or some bullshit like that at that time. <laughs> some people could just write a check. Somebody just put it on their credit card, it was easy. For us, it was the whole world. So here's my message. If it's easy, do it, it's easy. If it's hard, do it hard, but do it. If we've intrigued you and if this is an industry you want to enter into, now's the time. Yeah, how could you not end on that? I got to clap on that. <laughs> All right, listen, the Knowledge Business Blueprint, what we shared tonight in two hours is the tip of the iceberg. This is what we've geeked out and obsessed on over eight months, and we created the Blueprint course to get you in the knowledge industry. So I'm going to go through it. We had so many questions about the course. Let me go through it. The Knowledge Business Blueprint. Mike, you can pull up those slides. That's just obviously a screenshot. Um, the first part is extract it. This is the part that most people, I've, I've done it in front of audiences of 10,000 people and said, if you wanted to be in this business, what would you worry? And people said, I don't, I don't know exactly how I teach it or what I teach or what if I'm not the expert. So this first process we call extract it shows you how to Pull out your competence, pull out what you're good at, pull out your skill and give you the confidence because you're going to find the ideal client. Now, if you're not the expert, we'll talk about that later. But not only identifying your ideal client, 
This process will help you automatically build your agenda and you get to use the tools that Tony and I have used. I mean, think about this. How many millions of people we went through to create the tools that allow it to stick, to create the experience, to make them be impacted so they go refer you, so they want to go tell other people, so they come back year after year. I mean, you go to Date with Destiny, I've gone five times over the years, I see the same people there. Why? Because it's such an incredible experience, they're coming back over and over. You get all those experiences just in this first module, and of course, this is the first course Tony's done in over 10 years. In this first module, he's gonna rock your world. The second part is fill it. This is the part most people say, okay, all right, if I have the agenda, I know what I'm good at, I know my ideal client, but how am I gonna get people to pay me? That's what we've done, especially with Russell being our partner. Marketing is our life, but if you know anything about us, we don't sell magic money machines. We don't do big hypey videos. We sell authentically through the heart. So we teach you how to sell from your soul, not try to be someone else. Don't try to be a fancy salesperson. You're not gonna learn a sales script. We're gonna extract a better version of you, the, the best version of you through a process, not because we can do it, because we created a process Also because our it. software will show you exactly the visuals, how we set it up, what the types of headlines that work. So you literally, it's like point and click for you to be able to build what you really wanna be able to do the marketing and then test the things the way you want to and we've got the history to show you how and then we got these monthly coaching sessions to make it happen as well so literally showing you how you can take advantage of any aspect of social media for example so that marketing becomes pretty close to free i mean something yeah. we would have died for when we started yeah, absolutely. Our business. we paid a lot per client when it was infomercial when you were watching that infomercial you were costing me money because you weren't buying so that. then the next section is how to run it so that is step by step how to do it the third the fourth part of the main course is the knowledge broker that's if you're not the expert, we show you step by step how to partner or be the reporter. Also, you might be an expert and you might want to recruit some knowledge brokers that help you fill your course. And we show you how to do that as well. Yeah, and, I, and I'm going to go through these fairly quick. But Lewis Howes, he's already in the game. So if you're in the game and you're watching and you didn't buy yet, you are crazy. This tells you, it's, if you're in the game and you already have eyeballs, it's just about monetizing an impact. Literally, your impact will go to another level. I mean, I remember when you launched your first mastermind, it was unbelievable because it's bottom dollar money. Yeah, 100%. All the other marketing we're doing, we're spending money to acquire customers, and you offer this, and it's just pure profit to the bottom line, yeah. and it's, it's so much fun. Yeah, and <laughs> then the if you get somebody like AJ, if you're watching right now and never have done this, AJ was one of the first hundred people we allowed in. He's got five people in his high-end mastermind. He's losing his mind. You probably saw him in the video. So great stuff over and over, and let's get to this. Again, we put a price on 5,000. We had no idea how to price this. Tony's got a waiting list of a million, people want to pay him a million bucks. I'm on that list. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Some days let me in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's our time is valuable, but this is our passion project. So if we put a $5,000 value, you know that's not what you're paying. But also, we wanted to create the first software. And listen, the truth is you motivated me. ClickFunnels, you know I'm an advocate of ClickFunnels. Everywhere I go, I talk about ClickFunnels. Right. You change the world with your company. I wanted to create a mini version of ClickFunnels along with Tony to extract everything we've done and how can one software guide you through the whole process. We're over $400,000 you'd have to pay to create this software. It teaches you how to create your agenda, inserting our tools. It goes to the marketing. You said this before. Do you know how important a headline is on a page? Is it one of the most important things on the planet? I spend $120 per headline I write. Like we have writers that, anyway, so yes, it, yeah, we spend a lot just on the headline. If you didn't know that, <laughs> if you didn't know where to put the video, where to put the picture, if you have no video, what copy, we gave you everything that we found, including the emails, including a turnkey website. Like literally you'll have a website up. If you enroll tonight, before you go to bed tonight or tomorrow, you can have your website up with a funnel, with an application page. We have people literally two days later collecting money because you have the and key process. And then the last part is how to run it. On a, it's like having an executive assistant run through it. And again, Joshua Lee, he said he was struggling for 10 years. He's already in, already got his site set up and just changing the world already. Um, it covers all the details. I don't want to read those because it'll slow me down here. So Knowledge Business Blueprint, six months worth of the MindMint software for free. You get a year of me training you every single month. You get the immersion, but I'll be with you every month to answer those questions and share my biggest breakthroughs. I'm always in masterminds. I'm always with guys like this so we can share what the breakthroughs are. It adds up, again, what Tony said before. There's a value on here, but really to start an entire business. This part is worth it all on its own. This is where I took my YouTube guy, my Instagram guy, my Facebook guy, my email guy. I took my affiliate manager. I took everybody and had each of them film a separate course on how they did it. 
how they do it. If you know me, if you see me, I'm omnipresent all over every bit of social media. You can't do anything online without seeing me. These are the guys that do it and we generate millions and millions of dollars because of it. I had each of them chain, train a cor, uh, create a course and you get it. I can't put a price on it. Th these guys are hundreds of thousands a year and I personally trained them. So you get instant access to that. Then you get the best of platinum. We just wanted to, I, I know that there's so many things you could share about platinum, but listen, I've never been to platinum. I'm still trying to get in. No, <laughs> um, but, but Tony brings the best in the world from the Ray Dalias to, to every, from presidents to the, the best of the world. And you've got to spend 85 grand a year to be a part of it. And platinum members love it. The value this guy, this man gives is unbelievable. But we wanted to extract some really powerful, important things in the finance world and other places. And we created a little best of platinum that's incredible you get access to that immediately and last why don't you share what you've done for everybody yeah so um i've been running mastermind groups now for about seven or eight years and when i first started doing it, i didn't know how to do it so i had uh, i hired a call center with like 80 people all on the phones dialing and trying to sell stuff and it didn't work it was painful <laughs> i had managing 80 people was a nightmare and so finally one day we shut it down i walked away i was like there's got to be a better way to do this and you know, I'm kind of the funnel guy. I was like, I wonder if there's a funnel we can create that'll replace like 60 or 70 salespeople. And that was kind of the goal going into it. So we started working on thing after thing, iteration after iteration. We spent about 18 months testing and tweaking different process flows until we figured out one. And uh, what's crazy is after we got the, the first funnel created and got it launched and live, um, we had two salespeople just answering phones. There were people calling us, not us calling them. And those two people were doing the same amount of sales as 60 full-time salespeople. No Incredible. And so there's two funnels now that, that we use for, to fill all of our mastermind groups. I did a whole training showing you guys behind the scenes of those funnels, what we do, what's on page one, what's on page two, what's on page three, why we do it and the psychology behind it. And then I actually built those in ClickFunnels. And I, um, if you have a ClickFunnels account, you can click a button and it'll import both those funnels into your account. And if you don't have an account yet, it gives you a free 14 day trial and you can just go and use it. And you can literally take my funnels that I've spent two plus years um, testing, refining, and then we've been, you know, for the last six, seven years since then, just always tweaking on them. And you guys get the version that I use today and we'll just put them into your account and you can go take my video out, plug your video in, take your low, you know, my logo out, plug yours in and just follow the process because it works. That's kind of what we're going to get there. And after all this, if we don't have you, we have Ginzu knives to give you. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. an amazing well, thing. Oh my God. I, like this goes on <laughs> and on knife? and on. <laughs> Listen, guys, here's the deal tonight. This is the deal now. This, it's over. Listen, you can click the link below and get enrolled for $1,997. And we even created a four pay of $597. Like Tony said, if $597 is too much to get in business, then maybe this isn't your time. It certainly isn't. <laughs> we come unconditional money back guarantee. It's either a hell yes or your money back. Any last words before we let these good people go? No, just we love you and we hope that you feel our sincerity and our caring. We hope you, even if this isn't the right business for you, it makes you think about your life differently and that you, if anything else that you're going to decide to say, I'm not going to learn in general ways. I'm going to learn from people that have done it. That's how I'm going to compress decades into days. That's how I'm going to get the extraordinary quality of life that I want for myself and my family and my friends. But if you're going to do that anyway, it's like years ago, I thought to myself, I need to live this stuff. I learned originally from Jim Rohn and from the people I was studying. I need to live this stuff to have a great life. Well, what if I made this my life? What if I could do this full time? Then I'd have to live it, right? yeah. you know, because no one's going to kind of work with you if you're 50 pounds overweight and you're broke and you can't do anything. So one of the great things about getting this industry is it'll raise the standard for your own life. It'll, it'll make you look at life differently and it'll get you to focus on how to serve. You know, I wear these silly baseball caps, you know, with this little lucky sign on it, but it's amazing how lucky you get when you become obsessed with serving. You know, every time before I get on stage, every time we get up here, my simple prayer is use me, Lord. And, and that changes the texture and complexion of your life when your life has something of meaning beyond yourself. You can only feel so much joy for yourself through rock and roll, success, money, business, achieving goals, whatever. What really makes us alive is, you know, whenever you have experienced that something is just life-changing, what's the first thing you want to do? You want to share with somebody you love. Well, then why not take these things and share them with people that you love that you don't even know and build a community of people that you'll grow to love, they'll grow to love you, and you'll have this incredible synergy of this, this virtual experience or this virtual cycle, virtuous cycle, I should say, of constantly improving yourself, helping other people, them helping you, and it just grows and grows and grows. That's what the Knowledge Business Blueprint's all about, and we really thank you for taking a couple hours out of your life, and uh, for wherever you are in the world, we send you our love, and we hope we'll have the chance to serve you, and we'll be able to bump into you and hear the story of your success.
Any last words, Russell? My biggest thing I say, like, if you guys jump into this and put your heart and your soul and you focus and immerse yourself in it, um, a couple cool things will happen. Number one is it's going to change your life. Uh, but more importantly, it's going to change life for the people that you've been called to serve. And I strongly believe all of us who are here on this earth have been called to serve other people. And that's what this is about. It's not about you. Making money will be uh, awesome for a little bit, but it dries up really quick. It's the impact you have on other people, and you're going to have a chance to change their lives, and that'll be better than anything you've ever experienced in your life. I promise you that, and I can't wait for you guys to experience that. Yeah, yeah and, and my last words would just be, this has been a labor of love, and yes. it's such an honor to be able to share this with you guys tonight. We can't wait for you. We know we have a whole bunch of people already in. If you're still sitting there, you're still thinking about it, just remember uh, um, Albert Einstein's quote, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. If you want a different result, you might need new capabilities. And if not us now, then who when? This is an amazing time to jump in this business. We'd love to have you a part of the team. We'd love to coach you. For the three of us, thank you for joining us. And it's been a pleasure to have you here. Live strong, live with passion. Love to you all.